a cold reading who me oh i'm just getting your wait is there an older father figure near you is there an older i'm seeing it because it's a step up is the month is the month of august meaning is your birthday anniversary in there anywhere i'm because i'm seeing this older father oh yeah but i don't know if i can have a straight face somebody, I used to pick up girls somebody died of readings. something in the head or chest they're showing me blue <laughs> violets. <laughs> yes. yes. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good evening. They like, they like food. Is that right? Did they right. like food? Yep. I'm getting that. <laughs> I take it. I take it the bit about cold reading was because she's uh, uh, she's got a toque on her head. <laughs> I got a toque. I'm just cold. That's part of my brain. Hi, Caspian. He's home. Do Americans from... actually call the winter hat a toque. Oh, it's a beanie. I've never heard that before. Yeah, first time hearing it. Yeah, yeah. me too. But then I... we live in a place that doesn't get real cold. It's I'm from cool. Chicago. That's a beanie. Yeah. That's cool. Same for St. Louis. Or when I was growing up, it's a ski cap. Fair we enough. Yeah. Too. Well, we didn't go skiing. That's for rich people. Hi, Peggy. Peggy's back quick. from Oregon. Is my sound okay now? You sound yep. wonderful. Now, bye. Oh, I figured, okay, I was, I had the Wi-Fi on, so I, I was on the Wi-Fi that Welcome I used back. for my laptop. So. You were gone for so long, we missed you. And look, um, who else is here? Zeke? Oh my gosh! On the road, how Where cool. Where is Zeke? That looks like a, you're on mute. I, I'm in your driveway. She's in my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come in at break. Isn't that great? She's there's 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 Sagan. They were just sitting in my comfy green chair. <laughs> Around there. she came in and was petting okay. cats. That's so fun to see you guys come by and say hi. It's really neat. Hi, Brandy. This is cool. Hey, everybody. Hi, Time hey. to get my slippers on. We're getting there. Yeah. So Zeke's husband's hey, dinner in the in the car in the van in my driveway. What's going on here? Jamie, how's how's hey, so hi. Do we survive? Uh, it's not nice. It's, it's stormy, stormy today. Do you guys? I have no video. I, it's a, I have a black screen. Do you have any video? No, we still have. Jamie yeah. is talking, and yet his thing says it's muted. What the hell? Oh, yeah, that is weird. I've never Ooh. seen that. Before. He's got a wow. screensaver that's just a black screen that's mute and button on it. We, we might have to perform an exorcism. Screensaver <laughs> that's a black screen with there a little bit microphone with a cross. Now we can see you, Jamie. Yeah, oh, maybe that that's just part of the background. No, it oh, wasn't. We can't hear him now. It disappeared now when I moved my mouse away. That was on the normal Zoom mm -hmm. indication for yeah. microphone on or off, and it was a good. Hi, Terry. Yeah. See, but, yeah. Um, I, I have a. Yes, hey, he's have a yeah, he's now. talking on mute. Do it again. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Jamie, can you but hear me? You're still mark muted. Jamie, can you hear me? Jamie, can you hear me? Wow. It's not answering. I don't know. Oh. Speakers are not working. So the mute. I thought it's Tommy. Can you hear me? In yeah. Thailand. <laughs> Tommy can. So can in Thailand, me? it's. What's the frequency? He can't the frequency hear us when he's got the mute symbol on. Jamie, can you hear me? Hey, Jamie. He's not in, I don't think he can hear. Hi, the um, yeah, my my Zoom keeps resetting, and I have a black screen. Uh -huh. No, you're you're. We, we can, can see, see you. you. We can see you. We can see you. Chat to him. I can't. So you have you have something very very bad going on because it says you're muted, and you might think you're muted, but you're not muted. Yes, the worst of software bugs. You yeah. can't yeah. trust that now. Oh, oh. Well, yeah. here. Hi, Gene. I know. I Welcome back. I rely heavily on mute. Is, 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 someone, is someone moving what moving in or out or remodeling or something? I keep hearing I think it was Zeke. violent bashing noises. She's making dinner. Her husband's making dinner. Oh, she's on the road. She's in my driveway. Oh, on the driveway. Oh, you're not joking. You're not joking about that. You really sir? <laughs> well, it should say on the driveway then. In the truck. Well, she's actually just her, her personal chef advice. with her too. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> she sure does. Okay. Good morning, you guys. You can send Sagan. Good morning. Oh, oh look at that! He can hear us, and we can hear him now. Yay! Okay. So I don't know if you were hearing anything we were saying when you you heard the glitch. Did you hear what we were telling you about your microphone setting? No. The it turned out that um, it was on the wrong Wi-Fi setting. 
Okay, so something. so your your Zoom indication is that you were muted, but you were not because we could hear you talking. So that's really dangerous. Weird. Yeah, that's and strange. it was multiple times. It wasn't like one glitch. It's yeah, it was, we should I send know. this video to Zoom. Yeah, I want to test out your mute right now. You're yeah. in trouble. Sure. I'm sending your sister here now. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's just coming to take it. Take it. Hey, Ron. Sure. Ron. Let's see if it's just related to their family. <laughs> Ron. Ron. Yeah. Bernice yeah. and Piro. And Piro. Yep. Bob asked me a question. I can't wait to look and, the, and the answer is yes. Can you guess what question he asked me? If if, if are we being recorded? Are, are you going to tell a dad joke? Yes. <laughs> I thought I'd help him out. You know, he might answer a question. Oh, we're I love it. Ready. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we moved to ignore my question, right? That's good. Hey, Vincent. Ranger, keep off the blank. Yes. Hey, I'm feeling really good today. I finished a jigsaw puzzle in only 45 minutes, and it said three to five years on the box. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I can't believe people. I can't believe people would actually take that long. It was only 12 pieces. <laughs> 12 pieces. It was 45 minutes. When Sig is done drying dishes, can she come in to see the cats? She can come and sit in here with me. That's fine. And can she come in? Does she have to knock or should she just walk right just in? Just walk in the door. Okay, I'll tell her. She was too shy. I'll, I'll let all the people know in the house. To be wary. Yeah, no, just tell okay. her to come in when she wants and she can come. Um, Ariadne's in here right now. So she can okay. come sit with me. I don't know where Imogen is now. She just ran outside. We saw her. Oh, okay. So <laughs> why would you show that, Kevin? Her it's the Southampton Institute of Technology. <laughs> oh, it's it's from the George Carlin comedy exhibit. There was worse. Uh, than, that was the oh, least it is. Oh, it is. offensive okay. word. Yeah. Southampton Institute of Technology. Okay, we're about ready to start. So we have a brand new. We have a brand new attendee. And that's Darren. He's hey. blank right now. But Darren is um, in Monterey County. He's in the same city I live in. He's been to a few of my workshops. He barely knows anybody. So everybody be nice to Darren. Very nice. Hi, Darren. Encourage him to come back. Um, it feels like we all know each other really, really well. Well, we've been playing together for about three years. But there's some people here who've, who've been here four or five times. So there seems like there's a lot of in-jokes. It's just there are a lot of in jokes. Yeah, it just kind of happens, and we should have a glossary or something. What are you like talking that. about? I'm always the out joke. <laughs> <laughs> and people Our here joke. are from all over the world. We've got Thailand. We've even got Canadians or Canadians or whatever you call yourself. Not a far away land of Canada. Canada, yeah. Canada, Canada islands or something. I don't the know. Like <laughs> whatever they are, and we're we're Canada. expecting a few more people. But that's okay. Canata. Canata? Is it okay to say Canuck or is that not like good language? But that's fine. That's Why okay. Not? I just didn't know. It's a whole you know, hockey team named Canuck. after it. Oh, really? Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, yeah but there, there used to be a Washington <laughs> Redskins too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, so Edmonton sure. Eskimos was the name of a team up until this year, and then they had to change that name because Eskimos not allowed anymore. So this year, wow. What? Yeah. yeah, what, yeah, are, yeah. What, are, what are they now? The Edmonton, what are, what do they call them again? Chinooids. <laughs> Cleveland Guardians. I can't remember. Hey. Oh yeah, and Bill's making his first debut. As a as yeah. a real human. As a human being and not just an avatar <laughs> that moved around like, <clears throat> and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even notice. I see Bill. Hello, Bill. <laughs> I know I didn't recognize really him without his hat on. Do we just Darren? Where'd he go? I don't see him on the screen. Darren is gone. We scared uh, him already. That's oh, no. That was it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you, no. I was about to give instructions. Did we really? Let me see. He was a psychic. He read everybody's mind. He didn't oh, like the atmosphere. He's an attorney. He figured out he wasn't going to win. Santos. Is he doing a, is George Santos doing a category this week? <laughs> <laughs> 
Because if he is, I don't trust any of the answers. Which of you guys is Santos? I need to figure out who's who. Which Mr. Palmer. Oh, come on in, Sagan. Come on in, Sagan. Just open the door. Come on in. I just saw the the funniest video. It had to be like 20 minutes oh, long. Right. Jimmy Kimmel, where we haven't heard anything from Santos in a while. And then you know, 15, 20 minutes skit with him outside with a wig on, selling Girl Scout cookies from a table, and then stealing a dog. <laughs> and then it went on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> it was, just, and now the last thing he he steals a bike. For, uh, he gets into a sidecar on a you know a tandem bike, and he says, "Quick, we got to get up to eighty eight so I can go back to 97, mm -hmm. 77 and and Everybody save my mother." Say, say like, hi to say again. Hello. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. He's Hello. <laughs> Sagan's gonna go hang out over here on my green comfy chair with a cat. Oh, <laughs> the comfy chair. And just let us know when you want her back out. Not the, the comfy chair. Not the comfy chair. The comfy chair. I'll have to come okay. visit you sometime, Susan, so I can try out the comfy chair. It, people laugh. It's really just a cleaner. It's not like it's special <laughs> or anything. But the the ambiance helps the comfort of the chair, Susan. It's the cat it comes sits in your lap, and you know. I'd have to. Know. I'd have to get. Um, uh visa visa yeah sneak you so. in. Ooh, okay, I bring I'll my bring you in. You. yeah so risk you. risk getting arrested there we go but i just wanted a, to sit in the chair just need a passport Officer. no visa yeah i was gonna passport, ask Canadians need visas yeah, they... just a passport that is a super cool graph kyle <laughs> thank you yeah we can uh, update the spreadsheet and i'll regenerate it too i love that it's the thing I already sent you, Susan, the graph. Oh, I shared it with people and they were fussing on it. So yeah, it oh, give me some around. feedback. It's purple. Okay, I can do color changes. We probably, <laughs> well, it was orange the other day. Oh, we interesting. We probably need to change uh, this around a little bit, you guys. It, it changes. changes each time you reload the page, if yes. you haven't noticed that. The layout will, yeah. No, no, the, the colors too. The colors oh, yeah. The colors and the layout. It's if you don't like the colors, just hit refresh. There you go. I got right. I just hit refresh and save. Whoa, cool. So so Ooh. Kyle, you're the one who you're the one who did this? Uh, yes. Okay, so I, I updated see. the spreadsheet the same night we had trivia and I don't see any changes. So what do you have to do to rerun it from the database? Uh, I have to do a thing. Um it's <laughs> not an easy connection, so it's manual. Uh but I'll do that again. Okay. I think I pulled this like a, a day later, so I must have just missed yours. Hmm. Especially oh. this triple question mark person. They're I need to add myself in there, Carl. Yeah, you're yeah. in there from Susan, but I need to put myself in there. So yeah, I, I actually asked Susan there to everybody uh, pretty much th came from me. There's ten questions. There's ten I question marks or be on Thursday and you guys came. So it should all be me as the central focus. All right, just yeah, tell in, me yes in or the no multi-level marketing sense of the word, it all goes back to you, Susan. but there's you know other channels. Susan, yeah. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, just say yes or no. April Hoy, is it you? Yes. All right, I'm just going to paste it and we'll fix it right now. Avi, so this is Avi. where everybody came from? Avi is no. Avi yeah. came yeah. from. How we found out yeah. about trivia. Uh, Sharon uh, Romney, but I gave Sharon, but I invited Sharon. All right, I'm going to leave that question mark for now. Ben Bellinger. Carl. He came from Carl. Yep, Carl invited me. Okay. It's I'm all his fault. There. Where's Kevin? Add Bates? yourself. Heather. <laughs> all right, is Heather it real time? I'm going to refresh. It's and not real Wendy time, though. No. He what? Heather what? Heather came from Wendy and Wendy came for me. All right, I don't care about Wendy. She's already in here. I'm just just the names I say. All right, oh. Kelly. Kelly Burke. Quote you out of context. And Rob said, I don't care about Wendy. Kelly Burke. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you I want to know? It. I thought you were I trying know. to see. Just say yes or no that you invited this the name I say. <laughs> Kelly well, Burke. Did I invite them? <laughs> yes, we need a name here. And and you said you're the most likely, so I'm just asking that okay, question. Okay, so okay, who was it you just asked me? Kelly Burke. Well, yeah. Leonard. Well, yeah. Paul, don't, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Paul, well, it's a database, so it has to be a connection. I can just assume, but you might be wrong. But some people came from me to somebody else. I know. Wrong. Those are already here. Oh, you are. Oh. Why is it so hard? I'm not in there yet. <laughs>
Did, did anyone's spirit guide tell them to come and play trivia? Oh, Paulina. That's mine. She's mine. Di uh, Brian Dunning, the one time he played. Yeah, yeah, of course. Brian Engler. Probably, yeah, he saw it on Facebook. Brian okay. Kirby. Yeah, yeah. Brooke Silveria. Uh, that's from Robin. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, David Knoble. Oh, oh, that's from me. Uh, Haley. From me. Oh, no, that's from uh, Jim Newman. Jim Newman. Okay. So I'm getting the gist of this. Now. Jeff R Rothel. Oh, from North Carolina. Jeff. Jeff is from me. Oh. He's a. Uh, Robin. He's a local. He's a lives in Pacific Grove. Oh, but he's has Robin. he played? Jim. He's played like once. Oh. Jim, yeah. So I went through the earlier games. I have a note on here that says that I went through earlier the game, early games that I put some names that may may have only played a few times. Katie. I got three friends who are not on Katie? the map. Who's Katie? All right. If you don't know, we're Lou. Should maybe we put Lou people go. on who only played once? Lou. <laughs> uh, Lou. Put, yeah, yeah. My kid, my kids each played a couple of times. Raymond. Oh, they played more than a couple. Put Raymond. Them on. Raymond came from Facebook, which was me. Okay, got three left. Rich Richard McDonald. Us, yeah, me. Ross Blotcher. Probably me, yeah. And Sharon, <laughs> Sharon Ronnie. Me. Okay, we're done. Thank you. Can you but, put um, me on there for my brother? Yeah, you got to be in there. Uh, Sharon I'm not in there. Brought, um, you could put you Avi. there. If, if you have the data, you can do it. Avi. Uh, Avi I don't have uh, the, the link. The, we have yeah, we should probably reshare out the link to the Google right, Doc. Here's the link. Avi came from Sharon Romney. Okay. And I'm glad you stalled for a minute because a couple more people joined. Okay. Here comes, here hey, comes Robin, yeah. are you going to yeah. uh, rock for us? Am I going to what? Rock and Robin. Uh -huh. I'm bringing Batman Robin. with me too. Sure. <laughs> I told them you'd heard that before. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, one thing that caused a lot of errors on the first go around, uh, Kyle, Ooh. of course, because it's a database, it doesn't know that Rob's face P is Hi. the same as Rob. I, right. So, I was just looking at the met text messages and uh, you um, and uh, is somebody talking to me or someone else? Uh, I think Jim took a mute. phone call. They muted him. So but okay, you're right. Yeah, you. it has to be an exact right, match. Right. So like sometimes Susan put, you know, so-and-so name from Facebook and in the other column, it just has the name. So that's a problem that still may exist on some of them. And I guess before you hit run, just to make sure if it shows up like that to, you know, if you catch that, you can fix it. I, I tried to do it. Uh, I might have just caused some more problems right now because like I, I added, um, who did I add? I added uh, Robin in the first row and Jim Newman. So I have to go make sure how they were spelled originally. But yeah, they'll be okay. All we'll around get, enhancements, though. Thank you. We'll try to get that right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, classic master data management problems. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah. If my you want to add my kids, they played a couple times. They'll, they'll probably play in the future. You know. Uh, go go put them in there. Um. Oops, put your, your name in the column A, the inviter, and then put their name separately in column B, the mighty. And where does that go? Where do I find that? Do I, it for him, Rob, just, because he's on it. He's got chickens on him. All right, I'm good. You've got the, the database. I want to teach a man to fish. But I, I think he might be on an iPad, and that might be especially <laughs> prohibitive. I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, I. No, the iPad is now. That was the old. That was the old style. The iPad is now the the. I'm only using it for the hotspot for my laptop. Right, you're going to be the co-host. Hi, Gail. Hi, Alan. No, Rob, the best Hi, thing Robin. to do is give the guy a fish today and teach him how to fish for tomorrow. Hi, Janine. Scars. Scars. See, see my laptop? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So somebody okay. just added Gail Knapp in the first column with Susan as the invitee. Susan can't be the invitee. What's happening here? Gail, did you do that? Oh, is I this the other way around? Exactly. Susan is how I got into this group. Isn't that what we're doing? No, that you got it backwards. Inviter is Susan, and you're the invitee. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'll screw up the database royally. I, I, I screwed it up the first time too. 
<laughs> so how quickly does it update the little Kyle's got to do it manually he said yeah I'm uh, gonna do a run of it once the uh data kind of stabilizes I see we got some edits going on <laughs> You, you don't want to refresh it every five seconds there, Kyle? <laughs> I do. I just don't want to implement the connection with Google Sheets, which takes about an hour. Oh, jeez. Wow. What? Uh, I'd love to be on Ben's team. Well, I you're on the team that you're on. So I'm I on just, the team that I'm I on. Just hit, I just hit broadcast, so it is, it is going. Okay. Go to your All rooms. Right. Mm. Oh, this is going to be a hey, fun night. They're back. Why? What happened? Wait, which? It's just funny. Oh, okay. a good team. I always like to try in my mind before we start trivia to think what is it that's happening in the news that people are just like cannot miss? And they're that's and, and that's going to end up showing up in the team name somehow. I always think about that, and I think I've got my idea right now, but it's just me, and possibly Robin, and that's it. Nobody, everybody else thought I was nuts when I mentioned it last week, but oh my gosh! So I'm curious what you guys are going to come up with. So let's see here a second. I got to write your names down in the on the something on the, to do with legal stuff, Susan. Possibly. <laughs> okay, let's see it's ben i'm writing you and i forgot to write it i was talking to sagan um carolyn kyle robin and zeke and zeke i just sent you a um video of your daughter sitting here having a blast with my with ariadne so if it hasn't showed up yet it'll show up in your messenger so Ben, Bob, Carolyn, Kyle, Robin, and Zeke. What's your team name tonight? We are The Jury Is In. Yes, yes. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. First team name, The Jury Is In. Very good. Yeah. What was what was my team name last week that I suggested? The Jury what? Is Out. Yeah, we were The Jury Is Out last week. Yeah, That was the setup. <laughs> That was the setup. Yeah, and they were. The they jury were, has come back. I, I think what two funny. hours, three hours within two. Three hours. It wasn't very long. No, three that hours. Was, that took them. That's three hours from the time they said we're we're went in. So, so what are you talking about? I haven't followed the story. Murdoch. Murdoch. Oh yeah, I haven't followed the story. Oh. Murdered it's his wife and son. It's George so Santos. Interesting. <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of like a Columbo episode because, you know, yeah. it's, a it's bad not that often that yeah, nobody would ever believe it. Evil rich man kills his wife. And I, don't, I, um, yeah. I don't think he killed her. I think I killed her. I think I buried the body and I think I got a billion dollars for it. That's how I ran for Congress. <laughs> this is being recorded, Rob. Yeah, we have careful. it on tape. That's not Rob. That's George. I run the, I run the, uh, uh, the government agencies that can delete it. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You quit dyeing your hair, George. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to hear of this all night. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the other guy in Tennessee is just getting there? Yeah, yeah. I taught him. I taught him. He took everything from me. And wait wait till you find out about Marjorie Taylor Greene. She she really is a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a that's genius. That's a lie. She's just a good actress. I taught her how to act, by the way. <laughs> okay, Alan. George Santos, Janine, Carl, and Peggy. So we took it from a bigger news story. Uh, we believe with low confidence that our team will win. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's good. We believe with low confidence that our team will win. Okay, Brandy, Gail, Jane, Jim, Mono, and Terry. So, get... Jim, go ahead. Oh well, Gail, you uh, you you brought up this uh, yeah. uh, this balloon alien thing, and and and, and, and the name you were going to tell us was said something to do with it, but <laughs> okay, we have a real balloon alien, and for anyone who can't see it, if you it was part of the the uh, get the um, 
wearing the strange the package she gets in. You have I to put it on your face. It is, a, it is a real, <laughs> I'll put it in there. Put it on your face and that way we can see it. I'm trying to show it to you. Put it, it on is, your face. It, it isn't, <laughs> I don't know how to get, how do I get rid of my background? No, just you don't put, have it to put it on your face. Put it yeah. on your face. Hold That'll on. be just right. Hold no, on. Your face. It, 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 that doesn't seem to work. Uh, uh, it's okay. lean in. Me. Now lean in a little. Lean in. <laughs> keep going. Lean in. No, no, lean back gone. out. I'm no. so lean back. Lean back. Try leaning uh, back. Now do a flip <laughs> and a somersault. <laughs> lean back. Lean you know, back. There you go. Stop. There we go. There it is. Well, what the problem is, is it's green. It's, it's, it all it's the background that's killing it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so well, that's no, it's the fact that it's green. I want to get rid of it, but oh, I can't figure yeah. it out. Go to stop. Uh, okay, you see, you see stop video in the bottom left. Yes. Uh, click on the little up arrow beside that. I choose did that. Choose virtual background. Choose for choose virtual background. Uh -huh. And then you have the have the option of none for virtual Where is background. Where's the option of none? Should be the top. Should be the Probably. top left corner. Of all the pictures that you have, wallpapers yeah. that you have. I have virtual backgrounds and shelters. I don't have yeah. a none. None for virtual backgrounds? Oh, virtual. Yeah. Click on virtual background and up. then there'll be a none. A little, a little visitor. Scroll up to the screen. none. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I, it's like a little see. alien that's You'll, in yeah, yeah, yeah. And that and and then it will show you a woman in this odd black costume. There's the none. Behind you, <laughs> just can never trust those nuns. You can't, just can't <laughs> can't find a nun when you need one. I can't. I found a nun, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> What's your team uh, name? Oh, there it is. Shoes video. Next team, Susan. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard the title for the team yet. Okay, yeah. let me put it in there in the chat. I thought someone else was going to put it in the chat. I'm not oh. sure we know either. Okay. I can make something up. Well, Gail uh, knows. We oh, have yeah. a, a real balloon alien. There you go. Oh. We have a real balloon <laughs> alien. The reason someone you're... will help you with your, chat, with your um, thing. The reason okay. your alien didn't show up is because it's green, and exactly. think oh. the green is is doesn't exist. Like the green screen. screen, it's the that's color of the green is. screen. Of yep. course, yeah. that's what it is. Now yes, that you say it, it makes perfect sense. You needed to buy the gray version, uh, well, this Gail. Is from Square no, it's actually very the clever because, because green is the one color that the U.S. Air Force can't detect on its sensors. So there. But if I could get rid of the background, it would it would come. They won't be able to shoot it down. So Caspian, Kevin, I, pro I programmed Vincent. all the flare cameras. What's your, by the way. what's your team name? Shoot, he's guilty of murder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. good one. Good one. Oh, that's good. Good. Okay. Yeah, Bill, Emily D. Baker was Jane commenting. In California but, and Ron. Um, China knows their lab caused COVID. They knew it right off the bat. <laughs> 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 That's really tough. I'll I'll have since since uh, Mark's not here right now, he's in the other room. I'll have Sagan choose just based off the names. I'm gonna read these to her. Okay, Sagan. So you're gonna tell me. I'm just gonna read five names of team names. <clears throat> and you don't know who's on each team, and you're gonna tell me based on the team names which you think will be the winner tonight. Okay. We Mark's nailed it. This last two nights. Uh, okay, here's the team names, whichever one you think. The jury is in versus. We believe with a low confidence that our team will win versus we have a real balloon alien versus shoot, he's guilty of murder. 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 <laughs> or China knows their lab caused COVID. They knew it right off the bat. So which is the winning team? Oh, so who's supposed to? Oh, we're all supposed to write. Okay, so guesses? she has picked. We believe with the low confidence that our team will win. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. That was, that was <laughs> actually a very safe bet. Oh, who, who, who did the picking? Oh, my, who did my, the picking? Jake, tell Sagan that was a very safe bet. 
Then Who did the picking, Susan? Susan? It's Sagan. Come say hi again. So my my daughter is with Susan. I'm out in a van in the street in front of Susan's house. Got it. Oh, okay. the river. It's, it's so rude. rude. I was coming. I know. I see her. <laughs> okay. She's sitting in my green comfy chair, Janine, which you've Down by the room. And you make Zeke stay in the street and you give her the comfy chair. You just and all the comforts of home. She's sitting with a cat. The Not cat. Nice. She's here because I know you can't there. move with the cat. Next to the cat. Well, now she's sitting next to the cat. Okay, so we're ready to play. <laughs> we are on school. game. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> 150. One five oh. Sesquicentennial, yes. Wow. I even wore my drop pants. Yeah, that means we've been playing 150 years. Actually. 150 years. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. So we're on season three, episode 41. That's a lot. So, we're so if you guys all join the cryo the cryogenic club, we can meet here again in 150 <laughs> years and play again. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, so we're on game 150. This is going to be great. So you guys know which teams you were on, and you know, and we're ready to go. Our team leaders tonight, tonight, tonight are Robin, who's trying to pull <coughs> out on us. Oh, she yeah. got stuck and she can't oh. go. Um, Carl, well, I, I have to tell Bill what I was going to do tonight. There's yeah. a there's a concert in San City where they're playing the Baccarini piece from the Master and Commander movie, the Streets of Madrid, the night Streets music. Of Madrid. Of the, yeah. Yes. So okay. I wanted to go hear that, uh, but it was sold out. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> You realize, of course, that that piece could not have been played by those characters because it wasn't published until 1935. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. You might just but have it, it, it had to be it had to be written in 16 something though. Sounds yeah. like a trivia category to me. Somebody's trivia category. <laughs> have that. Okay, Carl is next. Carl, are you ready? Oh yeah. Gail, your third. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gail's ready to go. Kevin, you know your fourth. Yep. And Ron. Oh my gosh, are you doing a category on Louis Antoinette? <laughs> nope, but I've got the bonus and I will tell you, no rats were harmed in this bonus. Ooh. Yay. Thank you. But well, how about brain cells? I, at 10 o'clock tonight, I'm going to go and refer my time. It'll Remember be that brain cell comment I'm gonna um, go but over for the bonus. And, and refresh and see what's going on with Luann because it's it left us on a uh, cliffhanger, but you know what? I bet you anything, there will be no, tonight it'll be Ooh. just delivering the letter and she'll open she'll open it we won't we're not going to know anything for days i hate the way cartoons are they choose yeah, like three the panels, and it takes forever to get a storyline anywhere anyway so anyway okay robin where are you on my screen robin i'm right next to you on my screen <laughs> right <next laughs> no, you're down into the left a little bit Okay, you get to go first, and that's unusual. You're almost always in the. Um, I know I've never gone time. first before. I've always There's been last. There's a whole bunch of people here who leave early who have not seen you do a category. <gasps> well, here we go. Hang on a second. Let me let me You're get my cut and paste all ready here. It's seven o'clock. You can listen and help too. Oh, I'm oh it's eight o'clock. So Sagan's on my team. So it's ten o'clock. Yep. And it's nine o'clock. I'll, on a Saturday, I'll be back. Hey, Robin, you're up. Okay, I'm just I'm I'm copying, copy, and now I'm gonna come back. Would and... you like to mute muting or not muting? Uh, I don't after, care if after people after are muted. Probably should mute them. After Announce the category. A, yeah, after she does a category. Okay. Well, there's a theme to my category. You will have to figure it out. Okay, and so it's gonna be okay. easy to figure out. Okay. okay. Go ahead and go ahead and mute. <laughs> Um, question number one. Wait, wait, we're going to mute us. Now we mute. Then you unmute. Okay. I don't care if you're muted. Just don't talk over me. Harry's going to mute us. I will mute everyone in three, two, and one. And I will unmute myself. Okay. Question number one. Who said it was the best butter at a tea party? Question number two. Wait, is it in the chat? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna. I'm. I've copied everything into my. I'm gonna say them all, and then I'm gonna just push, push go, and then it's all gonna pop in at once. Okay. Janine is gonna. We, you we might hit a text limit that way, that. though, Robin. We were oh. all copying it, right? 
You want me to copy and paste? It'll take longer. We if are I have copying to... it as you do it. You can't. We can't do that if you don't paste it. All right. You uh, can try doing it in two chunks. It, yeah, there is a limit. It's pretty. Yeah, there's big. a text yeah. limit, so if you try to do it all in one paste, it yeah. probably won't work anyway. You could you could do three or four at once, maybe depending on how long they are. Well, I'm just gonna do them. Um, we don't want Janine mad. Janine's on mute. She she can't complain. <laughs> I can deal with it. No, I like it better to be able to read it. There's number it one. It does help to read it, but yeah, I like at the same them. time because I have to transfer them over to a spreadsheet anyway. So it's nice to be able to do it. All right, number two. What is the name of a of the single elimination tournament of sixty eight teams? that compete in seven rounds for the national championship. And just do it like that. And whoop. number three, what tragic historical event began April 9th, 1942 in the Philippines? Question number four. Uh, number four is who developed scarlet fever after visiting the Hummels? Your answer must include this person's first name. Number five, yesterday was a traditional feast day in Wales, honoring the patron saint of Wales. And the traditional festivities include wearing daffodils and leeks. What is the name of this holiday? Okay. Number number six, when we were kids, we had to listen to Jerry Lewis for a whole weekend every year raising money for what charity? There we go. Number seven. Uh, in this 2005 movie, Morgan Freeman says, in the harshest place on earth, love finds a way. What's the name of the movie? All right. Number eight. Who told Julius Caesar to beware the Ides of March? And uh, if you have the name of the person, that's okay. If you have the category of the name of the person, that's okay. Like, you know, the mayor of whatever or something. That, okay. <clears throat> uh, number nine, what is the name of a Gen Z uh, movement to end gun violence? And finally, number 10, what is the birthstone for the month of March? Maybe you've figured out the theme by now. All right, very good. I think Sagan and I've got it figured out over here. So, all right. So, do I need to? Um, ah, here we go. I'll join room one. Okay, let me put Deborah and Kevin back. Hi, Kevin. I'm in four. Hi, Deborah. You're in four? Yep. 
and we put Deborah in. You're going to go to one, two, one, two, three. Four. You're going to four, two, Deborah. Six my boom. That figuratively. Okay. I didn't get the theme. So we got the theme. Oh, oh, they oh good. The theme. What is it? March. It's March. Yeah. And so now oh, okay. March hit. Wait. So, oh. Mm -hmm. So number one, I have March, the March hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, are all the you, answers going yeah. to have the word March in it? Or is I it that fits the March? answers oh, I have? Last one. Nine, last is, one. Uh, nine is uh, March for our lives. So what was one you said? Sorry, the Karen, March. The March hair. H A R E like a rabbit, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was yeah. in the two is two's yeah. March Madness. Oh yeah, March. Oh Madness. yes. Yep. Yep. Oh, today's okay. March. Is it the Baton March, something like Baton March. Baton Death March, yeah. Oh Death March. Yeah. For three. Oh, that's yeah. that was yeah. Is that what we're on? Three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three is the Baton Death March. Baton. That's more. So number four, I I think it's one of from Little Women, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the last either, name is Marsh, yep. though, right. isn't it? Oh, that's right. The Hummels. That was that family that had the little baby, and they were all yeah. It was um. But it was Little Women. Is Marsh close yeah, enough little to Marsh? Women. It's, <laughs> maybe. Um, did you read? Little yeah, women? I thought it was did. March, wasn't it? It wasn't March. Can I it was a girl. It, it was Beth or Bess or the. Well, there yeah, we need the first name. I think she said right. Yeah, yeah. I can remember. No. How can I have Beth Martin? and Amy and something Joe. else? Joe. 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 Joe was more tough. It was. It was one of the sweet, innocent. You ones. read Little Women. You read Little Women. What's that got to do with March? Because that was the last name. It might be their last name. I thought it was Marsh, but it could be March. Okay, so we just yeah. have to come up with the first name. I think it's Beth, isn't it? Do we think it's Beth? One of them was Beth. That's know. fine. We'll say Beth because I can't remember. Should, we'll Beth put March? Marsh, but you know, Marsh, March, that's just a one put letter it, spelling mistake, March, right? If they're all March, it's probably Berenstein, is March. Berenstein, Berenstein. Yeah. I swear, because yeah. I, I thought Maybe. there was a, another book called March, which was about their father. Maybe. Oh. I haven't read it. Yeah. Okay, well, it so sounds well, like what we need is the first name it's anyway. It's close enough to right. You know, I would, I, yeah, I would think so. I think we give what it to him. The the say, well, it's almost March, so so it doesn't. She said, get the first name. We yeah, first name. yeah, so yeah. If we, we got, one got out, the first one name wrong, then then it doesn't matter how we spelled it. Doesn't the, matter. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what is the name of the holiday that has to do with March? What's the name of the holiday that has the word March in it? Yes, it is. March of the Brides. Is the is the holiday called St. David's Day or is it called something else? I would think it's got to have it in the name. Right? With the word March in it? Do they call it? March of the slightly bitter foods. Oh, I like The yellow onions. What is it? could be a pun like May the 4th. Do we want to come back to that one? Sure. She's saying it could be March 1st. Okay, you know so what? The... March doesn't have to be in the answer because the answer. Aquamarine doesn't have the word March in it. Right. For the tenth clue. Well, and and the charity so, doesn't. Right. March so of Dimes. Could, or is it March, March of Dimes? Dimes. Never mind. It does. March of Dimes. Dimes. That's but it could just be that the the whale's holiday is on the first of March. Oh, I know number seven. Well, yeah, but is it? It's muscular dystrophy, but. Was it March of Dimes that did the most? March, March of Dimes, Dimes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Okay. You're right. Is this March then, of the Penguins? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I bet that's yeah, right. Yeah, because he oh, he narrated that, that or whatever. He narrated it. Yeah. Well done. Did you remember the movie March of the Penguins? Because it says he says. It doesn't say appeared in it. He says. Oh, right. Says he yep. Says. Yeah. It's March of the Penguins. So. It's March of Penguins. Yeah. And okay. who and told Julius Caesar? I think that was Foreigner, right? <laughs> Sagan said soothsayer. it was an old lady. It was a soothsayer. It was a for you know, someone with a, a visionary. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't. Um, it, doesn't, it might not have the word I, arch. In do it. we need a name, name, or do we just need like who it was? Well, it's the. You said it's an old lady, right? Says, it's the. The title would be the the blank of blank, the seer oh, of Rome, or something yeah. like that. To, who told the um the eyes of March? Was it okay? Um, Sagan like says that his wife and an old hag told him that he was going to die. <laughs> we want, totally well, watch this with Sagan, so she oh, knows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Calpurnia, well, okay, Calpurnia. If it's his wife, her, her name was Calpurnia. Is it his wife? Wow. Yeah. No, but well, okay, so, so was his wife an old hag, or did two separate died. people warn him? No, two no, separate people. said, "Beware of the Ides of March." Oh, I know exactly. I think it was the seer. What is her job? The, the court, the soothsayer. <laughs> Sagan's words. <laughs> it was, could have been the old seer age? of Rome. I know his wife had a, a, a dream and right. said, "Don't go to the Senate," but I don't know. But if she, she don't. Said, you don't think she said the words, "Beware the yeah. Ides of March." That so sounds more like something that somebody that's giving you a prophecy would say. Yeah, You're right. Some, right. Yeah. Old woman. So yeah, we want to say old woman soothsayer. What do we want to say? Any of those. Oracle. Oracle. Ask, Oracle. Does she have a specific is Oracle name? The right. Ask Sagan if if Oracle is the right word. I don't know. Old hag. She says old hag. She said old hag. There she's the. That's your daughter, there, Zeke. <laughs> the Can I just put like five hat. different answers with slashes between them all? Old, old woman. <laughs> like, we I we know in, what we're talking about. Old hag. Well, is the oracle? You said oracle. Okay, okay so well, the so oracle's actually more. It's an old hag. The oracle. It's a kid those, documentary. Okay, they're called oracles. Hags who say or slash oracle. It's like a shrine where things are going on. And but yeah, the to... Oracle of Delphi and all that. Yeah, okay. Oracle of Delphi. Yeah, this is just one person. One person. And okay, I think we're calling it. Okay, so okay. that's fine. Move on. Number nine is March for Our Lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then... What's the birthstone for the month of March? Aquamarine. 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 Oh, that's what you mean by Aquamarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all the birthstones? Nerd. Oh, I just know uh, March because it's mine. That, no, I, I know March is for a specific <laughs> oh, okay, reason. Okay. So is that okay. one yeah, word or two words? words. It's one word. One word. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Not that it mattered. I mean, we have the my answer, birthday's so. on Saturday. It's my birthday. Oh, oh, happy birthday. All right, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Mine's so Tuesday. We still don't know. Happy birthday. birthday to both of you. Thank you. Oh, we're going to have to do a double sing here. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh who else's birthdays coming up? Uh, we still don't have anything for five. I don't Zeke, think Zeke and Carolyn. Oh, yeah. we're gonna do happy birthday after we need five. We'll come up with a guess for five. But mine's five. not until Tuesday, so it's fine. It's fine. So Same my husband said I'm Same. going to I'm going to the Winchester Mystery House for my birthday. No way. That's way. If, Hold on. What were you saying, Zeke? You, we think five, we have an answer for five. Saint David, he's thinking, is this is the patron saint because he was just in Wales and that's the big cathedral there. Okay. So if it's Saint David's Day, I don't know, but it's it yeah, may be well, because it's educated, the first of March. Yeah. It's an educated guess. Yeah. It says it's, that it's for the it's for the patron saint, so I would say Saint David's Day. Saint David's Day. Okay. Could we say Saint David's March? <laughs> no, I don't think it has. Yeah, you don't think it's, it's March first? It yes, we can, Kyle. We can. That's simple. <laughs> You're enjoying I think it's going to be a no uh, slash rule at one day, maybe. I, the slash, yeah. Hey, sometimes you okay. got to use the slash. That's just how it goes. Who's, who's the official um, answer checker? Matt. Uh, I usually do since I'm the one pasting okay. it in here. So. Okay. Cool. How, how right. much? How much leeway are we giving ourselves with the answer <laughs> to number eight? That's the question. It is an old hag. I think it's a. I would go with Sister, but that's got to appeal woman. to Robin. Well, old she. Okay, it's, you know, it's number. If eight, she's so. looking for a specific name and we missed it, I would say we don't give ourselves the point. But if it's like, it was the whatever, and we have the general idea because we've been discussing it, then yeah. you know, yeah. do we give ourselves the point well, then? See how we're doing up till that point. So if we're doing pretty good, and you say, well. <laughs> Bob, hey, like, I mean, if we really need that be, point. 
his it's more likely to be soothsayer if that's yeah. acceptable. Old it sounds like he's got one person in mind. Hmm. But his wife warned him, and I don't think she said beware of the Ides of March. Right. But yeah, because like I said, I, beware of the Ides of March is totally not the, the something that your wife, your would, wife say would say after waking up. That is something <laughs> that you go to like a soothsayer yeah, or, or some kind of you know a psychic, I, I was, and they say it that way. I was, but it, why can't it be the same uh, person? I was, in be. Little, I was in a production of Julius Caesar, but I didn't pay attention to the scenes I wasn't in. Oh, but but what, Kyle, fine. that means you're calling uh, Caesar's wife an old hag. I, I, I don't, I don't know. know. I, I may be, I'm, Listen, I it's like a merits and flaws thing. You take on old hag, but you get the soothsayer ability. <laughs> good job, everybody. I think we got nine. All right, good work, team. Eight or nine. Good okay, good job. Yep. The theme was April, right? <laughs> That'll be next month. Okay, Robin, Robin. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay. You guys ready for the answers? Yeah. I think you I think most people got at least an eight. I yeah. think we're ready for the questions. Okay. I'm so kidding. number one, the March hair, Alice in Wonderland. Number oh. two. What was the answer? The March, March hair. hair. Okay, good. Yeah, I just heard Alice in Wonderland. It scared me. Um, March Madness yep. basketball. The Patan oh. Death March. Uh -huh. Death March <laughs> uh, from Little Women. St. David's Day was yesterday in Wales. Ooh, we got it. Uh, it's called I... David T E D. Um, I hope I got this right. I did Google and everything. What to was fact four check, again? I'm sorry. I missed it. Number four, Beth March. Okay. The Thank character you. from Little Women. Elizabeth is okay too. Not uh, Death March. <laughs> no, she was Beth. She wasn't. Yeah, Death it. March and Beth March. Ooh, is that why <laughs> she was the one? Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> St. David's Day, the March of Dimes. Yeah, I, Robin. I, yeah. Yeah. I never know anything. This one, I absolutely positively know because Did I, screw I wrote up? in high school the chair of the Muscular Dystrophy <laughs> Telethon Center in, in Nassau County, New York. Okay, and I, got I to messed meet up. Lewis as a no, you didn't. And we talked about this. He did not do the March of Dimes. He did Muscular Dystrophy, but we know you meant March of Dimes because yeah. it's the category. Everybody got it. Yeah. Gail, but he Gail no, he did do March of Dimes, but when polio, when polio uh, was solved, uh, he then switched to Muscular Dystrophy. He, I, you find the evidence of that. He said to, to us at the telephone, telephone center how he had chosen to do muscular dystrophy as his chosen charity. But, and that this it, was the but, first telephone we'd ever had like fun. that. But, and it was every fun. single year. March of Dimes didn't do telethons. March of Dimes did the Halloween gathering for kids. So you're both I right. No March of Dimes telethons. He probably did March of Dimes, but not as a telethon. Right. The telethons okay. were definitely muscular so The correct dystrophy. answer is March of Dimes. Uh, I screwed up. I'm sorry. I, the, the I thought I right. picked Credit that to one. both answers. The, the answer is yes. Right the yes. If you put muscular dystrophy, you get the quote. You get the yeah. point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> um, number did. seven, March of the Penguins. Yep, got it. Woohoo! Number eight, it was called Spurina or Spurina the Soothsayer, but I'll take anything <laughs> along the lines of fortune teller, Aerospace <laughs> Prophet, Oracle. Psychic. Uh, we we psychic. Oh, yes. <laughs> psychic is okay too. Yes. Um, it was his wife who said, "Julie, don't go." <laughs> uh, okay, we so were hoping you weren't going to go with something specific, like there's an actual name that that we needed, because you know there is a name. Old, old hag slash soothsayer like slash cup, oracle Caroline. counts. <laughs> is it the, is like we know it's something cup. like that. Some okay. kind of. No, we Caroline. don't need a first name. Okay. Is that my cup? Yeah. Some kind of predictor of the future. <laughs> it is, yeah. huh? I was feeling this today with some of the news, so I had to. She's got one of my cups, you guys. Yeah, That's so okay. funny. Number we saw. Nine. We noticed. Okay, so nine. Number nine is the March for Our Lives. Good one, oh, Bill. And number wow. ten is Aquamarine. Yay. Yay! Wow! Saved us, Bill. You saved us. 
Good job. Somewhere in the recesses of my mind is where that came from. Like the last um, 10 seconds he came, up, he came up with it. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. We transfer this over to our answers. Okay. I swear I thought it was the damn March of Dimes. I remember like oh, getting yeah. people I remember to the sign March of up. Dimes when I was a kid. <laughs> That's why I and remember. I, and I and it was about that time that Jerry Lewis started doing the telethon. Yeah, I thought he thought he started with March of Dimes. No. Then <laughs> about that time. Uh, oh, there you go. The Salk. Turn more this way, second. So yeah. Hey, you but guys. If you put muscular dystrophy, it's cool. Look at look at my screen, you guys. Can you see? <laughs> Is that a gargoyle? <laughs> <laughs> She's the perfect height. She could just leave awesome. my baby with me back there. She's just the perfect height. Just cover him, it's funny. <laughs> I can't so find I can you. Say, oh, there she is. Oh, say, yeah. Well, that's scary. That is scary. You're supposed to go like this. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Okay, scores. So let's go with China knows their lab caused COVID. They knew it right off the bat. Got a 10. Oh. All right. Mm. So, shoot. He's guilty of murder. You got seven. <laughs> seven. You yeah. like March, huh? You haven't caught up there. All right. No. Um, we have a real alien, a balloon alien. Ten. I have that too, and I've got to oh. uh, figure out where I'm going to use it at. We believe with low confidence that our team will win. Ten. Right. Ten. Goodness. The jury is in. Ten. She I said, how come we didn't get eight? Wow. I don't know. Jeez. I mm. thought we got eight. No, we got seven. Oh. So the theme. Okay, Carl, where are you on my screen? We missed four and five. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we also <laughs> missed the one about the, the soothsayer. Oh, okay, that's so what I said. I'm ready, Carl. Everybody else ready? Yep. Move on through. Move on through to the other All side. Right. Break on through to the other side. No, it's move on through. Break on through. Break on. I said. Break on. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the I'm other side. Oh, you on. want a new song? <laughs> hey, Susan? Yes. Did Sagan see Max? Yeah, see? Sagan, did you see Max? I was trying to point to it. You see him? Nice. And that's the daddy. He doesn't know he's a daddy, though. Oh, he's got a little bit. Oh, look at Ron's 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 kitty. Kitty. Look I at like Ron. He's got a kitty oh. dance. <laughs> okay, cool. I have a cat. Ron, does that cat drive the car? By that okay. point. <laughs> Carl, Carl, we can see his whole face. I know everybody. All right. Looking out. They don't so recognize this, this is going to be a pretty fast round and <laughs> should have some out. decent story <laughs> going <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm just going to name some gods, either Greek or Roman, and you can tell me the Greek or Roman equivalent to that guy. You've just made Sagan's day. <laughs> she told me, she says, if you get any questions on mythology. Oh, there we go. And question 10 will be a slightly different format. And she's question. on our team. Okay, so I got to. All right, so mute everyone, someone. Or no one. Who's who's got the mutation powers? We need some we need some gamma radiation to do the mutations. <laughs> Unmute yourself. Okay, there we go. All right. Number one, Zeus. Number two, Saturn. Number three, Hades. Or Hades, if you want to pronounce it that way. Number four, Mars. Number five, Mercury. Nothing moves you like your Mercury. Six, Terra. Seven. Uh, you can either pronounce that Uranus or your anus. It was always Uranus when I grew up in grade school. 
There's Eight. children present, Carl. Heroes. Nine Helios. And 10 is a slightly different question. Special question, provide the Roman epithet frequently used for Diana, Hecate, Artemis. Hint, I can absolutely guarantee as of when I wrote this on Wednesday, that this word has already been spoken tonight on Zoom by Susan at least once. And it's not because I prompted her to do so, it's because she spoke it. And there we go. There's our questions. And if I watch the recording and find out she didn't say this word, I'll be very annoyed. But I'm pretty sure she said it. Okie dokie, artichokes. I have no idea. Yes, yes, but you, you have. Sagan. But what did what did you say? What what did you say as an epitaph? Well, they do that. And remember, I predicted she would say it before the Zoom even started. Like a magician. That's so cool. What did you say? Well, he it must she be said it a lot. And it had to be part of the theme. So what's what's what it's not epitaph, it's epitaph. What is epitaph? It's epithet. What is what is that? I don't know that word. It's a, a word that like uh a, a discussion. A dissing kind of comment. A so, what? Alan, you're you're Alan silent, muted. Alan. Uh, yeah, what is it when you poke? You know, when you when you uh, oh, like poke, tease somebody? Voodoo. Voodoo. It's like a, it's sort of like a uh, epithet. Uh, but yeah, I just no, no, no. I just looked it up. It's just an adjective describing somebody. It doesn't have any negative connotation. Really? That's what it says. I think it generally has a, a negative. Expressing color. a quality characteristic of a person being mentioned. Well, yeah, but I think for the most part, people think of it as, as a neg negative. It doesn't matter what. Well, I don't understand what we're supposed to do here. I'm sorry. I, I, I really don't. Okay, the opposite. Well, start, 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 start from the beginning. So, so you're supposed to name the opposite pantheon. So Zeus, opposite is Jupiter. Zeus? Zeus is Jupiter. Jupiter, okay. Yeah. Right. I don't know Saturn. So it's like Greek and Greek and Greek and Roman. Roman. That's correct. It says Greek that in the questions. Roman? Greek and Roman. Okay, Saturn is. Well, who's Saturn? I don't know who Saturn is. Uh, uh, does anybody know Hades? Does Sagan know? I think Hades is Vulcan. Pluto. She's what? Pluto. Hades is, is is Pluto. It's not Vulcan. She says it's. Pluto. I don't. She thinks I don't think Pluto would make sense, Sagan, because they didn't know about Pluto back then. It, uh, is uh, 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 Satan is not a, a one that come? It's not one of those, is it? What? No, I don't think Satan was in either camp. Uh, all right, so let's skip two and three. Four, four is Aries. Mars is Aries. Right. Uh, Mercury. That's the fast runner. What's his name? Apollo. Is it Apollo? Uh, no, Hermes is the fast runner. Yeah. So who's that? What's, what's his name, Sagan? Hermes. She said. Is that right, Sagan? Hermes. Same as Mercury. Yes, that sounds right. Thank you, Sagan. Hermes. Yeah, that's excellent. I'm glad we have a. How old is Sagan? Eleven. Old enough. Six. Terra, which is Earth. I don't know who's that. Are you smarter than a second grader? Who's Terra? Terra. Is that, is that Gaia? Could be. If Sagan doesn't know. We'll go with Gaia. Does, she says does, Gaia is Mother Earth. Yes, yeah, so that makes sense because Terra is Earth, right? Terra firma. Right. Do you think it's Gaia? Well, someone suggested Gaia. That was good. All right. I've never uh, heard of Terra. So. Uranus, I didn't know that they knew. I don't know. But Gaia. Uranus. G A I A. Yeah, there's actually a channel on, uh, uh, there's a streaming service, Gaia, which is all nonsense stuff. It's all woo woo stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's a sort of a pseudoscience kind of thing. Yep. So seven Uranus, I don't know who that is. Eros is Venus, Venus right? Venus is Eros? Sagan. I thought it was Eros Cupid. Is, is Eros Cupid? Eros is Aphrodite's daughter. Eros is technically Aphrodite and her and Aphrodite's kid, but she named her kid Eros. So yes, that's Cupid. So that's Cupid? Okay, good. 
I can thank go you. much more detail, but I'd rather not now because it's a Thank you. Detail. We appreciate that, Sagan. <laughs> thank you. So, nine well, Helios. Well, that's Helios, the sun? What the hell is the that? Sun. Is that Apollo? It. Isn't Apollo the sun god? Yes. Uh, that makes sense. I think so. She says Helios is fire. Tell fire? Him, tell him, tell him, Sagan. Don't tell me. Helios is fire. But there was a exactly, god. But that's not the name. But we yeah. need the god's name. Would that be Apollo? Because he went to the sun. Apollo. The sun. Apollo happens to drive the chariots around. With the sun, right? With the sun, did he move the sun across the sky? That's, that's the sun. No. Yeah. Wait. No, he doesn't drive the sun around. Who does he that? Does his own thing all day. So who 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 drives the sun around? Um. What's the name? It starts with an H. So Helios is in the one pantheon. What's the other? Helios. Uh, I don't know. All right. So come back to that. So we don't know two, three, nine, and we don't understand ten. Do we understand ten? What was ten? Some word I've used today. It's a special question. Provide the Roman epithet frequently used for Diana, Artemis, something else. Hecate. I don't know that. I don't even know who Hecate is. So it just means the descriptive the descriptive phrase and expression but but used for diana diana okay what would diana say i don't know which one's diana i don't know what was she known for she's not love she's a huntress wasn't she diana were we taping can we play the tape back what was it diana works with artemis yeah diana works with artemis she says i don't know exactly so who I are they Hmm. Are they I don't think those huntresses that that would must marry anyone? Okay, so it's a huntress that never marries anyone. Hmm. So what could be huntress is an epithet, right? That you use today. That you use today. Some word that you use today. And you use it often because he wouldn't have said this. Yeah. Um I don't know. I I Oh no. Uh, you ready for a two minute warning? No, no not wait, quite. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Um, can we play put... the tape to see what I've said so far? We need to put Apollo <laughs> on one of these. Are we going to keep him at nine or could Apollo? I think so. Yeah, I, I don't know. And Saturn, we should know Saturn. I just, nothing comes to me. What could I have said? Apollo has a connection with the sun, but he does not drive the sun. Well, all right. That's, since it's since it's so a connection, Rob made that part up. <laughs> since it's it's a connect. Well, since it's a connection with the sun, uh, we'll have to leave it for now. Unless we come up with a another one. You can so think. I've said game season and episode for sure, and I said, <sighs> "What could I have said?" Who? So who is the god of the underworld besides Hades and the other Which pantheon? Is Hades. Well, that's in the other pantheon. What was it? In the other world, who's Hades? Hades opposite is so is Hades Greek? No, what Hades is, is Greek. Okay, Hades is Greek. So, so who's the Roman for hell? The god of hell. God of hell. Of the underworld. You had mm. it down. We already did that one. She says we already did that one. No, we didn't do that one. Give us. Well, a I said Vulcan, and nobody liked it. So is it Vulcan? It's not Vulcan. She says. Well, then we don't know. I'm just relaying what she's saying. I don't know. And we don't have any. Okay, we need something for Hades. Who's the who's the Roman god of hell? No mm. pressure or anything, Sagan, but they're all looking at you. <laughs> would, would, would it be the one who drove, drove the ferry? Drove the who drove the ferry? St well, that was uh, yeah, the on, over the river. What was his name? Okay, so who's the River Sticks? Or is that I always get the Greek and Roman mixed Roman up, so I don't know which is which. She says she only knows Greek, so you guys. I went to the Getty Villa recently, but I don't know about <laughs> That's okay. You've got six grown ups here that don't know either. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, so do we have anything for Saturn? No. 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 <sighs> hey, Susan, could the epithet be related to one of your cat's names so that would be reliably said at every game? Oh. What are your cat's names? Ariadne. Hamilton and Imogen. It's probably not Hamilton. <laughs> Ariadne, but it doesn't sound epithetic. It does not. Neither does Imogen. Um, 
Oh man. That's a good that's a good point. That would be something I would say. Mark. I would say Mark. I know. I was thinking Mark. <laughs> um and something I was talking about chickens. Is, is it just this one you're working on? No, no we have three. No, we got, have four, we don't know. We've got we have, four. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to know. On question 10, has anybody else got that? No. I'm asking uh, Carol. As yet, I have not seen anyone get it, but at least one team, I don't know what they have for that answer. Okay. So. Did you want some peanuts? No, she's good. Used for uh, Diana. Okay, what could I Maybe possibly... I should have made an even stronger hint for 10. Okay, Diana Artemis. We know that they're <sighs> Artemis. Art 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 sports people, Artemis. right? So they. What was that? Goddesses of young women. Guardian? That's not something I would say. So Artemis is the is the uh go to your rooms. No. Artemis is the name of the, the latest program in NASA to return to the moon. Is she the god of the moon? Yes, Did you say moon? She says yes. I don't know that I have which an one? epitaph. Ten but for the epitaph. Yeah. Uh, Did you say moon? Likely. Did you mean say moon, Susan? No, he doesn't know. necessarily say moon every time. I don't know how that would be an epitaph anyway. But I don't necessarily say that every night. Thursday. Uh, what could it possibly be? Okay, just time. throw out some God's names that we have. Is there a timer up? Today. I haven't seen a timer. Do we have no, a timer? Uh, do you guys no timer yet. The, the suggestion of. Oh, okay. I heard somebody said we have a minute, so I thought there was a timer counting. No. I didn't see. Well, no. she wanted to create a long list. I'm like, you don't have Saturn. Time. I want to get back to Saturn. So, does that have to do with a Seder? Saturn? Um, no, I don't think so. No. Um, it's going to be a. He says Sagan, a Satan says Saturn is not a god. He Satyrs are not gods. Satyrs are not oh, gods. What? Oh, th thank you. Dionysus. Dionysus. God of wine and the god of wine and stuff. Ooh, wine. but that would not be a planet. Oh, Bacchus, the, the god of wine, Saturn, really? Could it be? I think so. Yeah, that's Bacchus in 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 the Roman version, I think. She says she's not sure. Well, it's a better answer than the zero that we have. <laughs> All right, we're putting we're putting that for two. Okay, we're putting Bacchus. Bacchus because we don't yep. know. That's what we're putting for now. Hades, Hades, come on. Who who who's the ferryman? Least... Oh, we can't be that interesting. Everybody else is pretty much done. Oh, well, thanks. Well, you can punish us. They have their own 10-year-old? They're all thinking we have an advantage because we have Susan. <laughs> well, we because we have Sagan. Yeah, that's our <laughs> real advantage. Left. Is That's the been our advantage so far. <laughs> we yeah. took a wild ass guess on one, which is probably wrong, and we have three with nothing right now. Three with nothing. Yep. Well, we have no. We have. Three, oh, you seven, don't want to use, well, use Vulcan for Hades if you don't. If we got nothing else. Okay. Okay. Boy, if you guys had me on your team. Oh, gee. <laughs> you just you just dunk, dunk your own team. We used yeah. to have you on our team. I used to know yeah. all this stuff when I was uh, Sagan's age because I read all of that stuff. But that's how long I've ever thought. I haven't thought about it in that long. So well, why don't you channel your inner youth? No, your your inner your inner youth. <sighs> Basically, I'm giving you two minutes to the two minute warning. Okay. okay. Well, no, you should just okay. give it. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. No, we're mm -hmm. like wild guesses another, at this point. Give me another. What about Aphrodite? Does that go any place? Mm, don't think so. Well, it could be Terra, I guess. We we have we have that for Gaia. I think Aphrodite and Diana are the same. And whatever they don't have Diana or Aphrodite. You got two minutes. Great, more fumbling around, hopelessly ignorant. It's a countdown. Nothing turned down. So God, gods, we haven't talked about. Gods, we haven't thrown names out for. I can't come up with any. I can think of the Norse gods better because they're always in the movies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to watch those other movies. Loki, okay, I, think, Odin, I think pick one of the cat uh, memes Thor, and, and put it in for 10 because I can't. Yeah. Well, so, all right. Okay, George? Yeah, George, sure. Seven. 
My phone's reading. Is it your mom? Uh, Hello. Yay, Susan, it's Karen Arambo. Oh, hi, Karen. Hi, do you mind telling me the meeting ID and password? 10, 10, 10. Uh, epitaph. I'm thinking 10's more like something that she uses in her opening, like, like, only I'm never here in the opening. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Or can I, I can't just give you the link? Hi, Mark. Mark, hi. Are you like only on, I need to well, have her since give it... us the answers. Since we don't have them for the answers. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> the... Oh, that's why you're on somebody else's. I'm, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write beautiful down just because it's a descriptor in number ten. Okay, hold on. Because we don't have anything. Let me ask one. Okay. Did you recognize the device? Want to send it to my dead? I ask her about Uranus. <laughs> you're not on our team. Yet. They want to know about Uranus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I was. I worked in Israel. I worked in Israel during the 80s in Jerusalem, and our work week was Sunday to oh, Thursday. Karen wants to know what and our meeting ID number is. Can somebody tell me what it is real quick? The who what? Karen needs to know what the meeting ID number Two four six eight seven zero. No, no, no. no, no. That's the passcode. That's the password. Eight, 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 eight two, two four. four. Oh, that one. Okay, sorry. Four, yeah. Zero, zero, three, nine, two, three. Nine, two, three. Sorry. Thought you meant passcode. Did you get that, Karen? <laughs> okay, she can only hear me. Okay, so wait, let me write. Wait, wait. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. It's impossible, Karen. These people are impossible. Okay, hold on. They're delightfully impossible. She yeah. says you guys are delightfully <laughs> impossible. Oh. You could come down to my house. Um, Sagan's here, and so is. No, I'm in, is I'm in By the way, don't don't say the password because we're being recorded. Somebody put it in the chat. I'm waiting for somebody to put it. In the oh chat. yeah, that's right. For, are we being? Yeah, but we are no being one's recorded. watching. Sorry, that's true. <laughs> someone's going to watch oh, for like an hour and a half just to get the password to do what? <laughs> now, in a year from now, the new chat bot will have that password. <laughs> that's right. And, and it'll try to come into our game. game. Okay, and it'll me, and it'll know all the answers. The okay, and then it can you. beat Carl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the recording off when you give. I it. will. Can, hold on. You, you don't know your. Anybody know how to make them go away? I don't know what you mean. Yeah. No, I don't know what those are. Nobody has those. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, so across the field of some point. person. Yes. Points. Points. Uh, I've this had is... them, and they just eventually go away on their own. All right. Give us our. <laughs> right. Give us our answers. I'm dying to know. All right. Uh, so when I read these answers, I will also give the title of what they are god or god's goddess of but since it's not part of the answer it's not important but there's obviously a lot of variability in what certain sources say oh, this is the god no, of this or the god of not that. yet but i'm just about to don't be a stickler about that whatever oh number one jupiter is yeah. the roman to the greek zeus king of the gods god of sky that. and thunder and or lightning or jove <clears throat> Question two is Saturn, so we'll see. Number two, Kronos, Greek yeah, god yeah. to Roman Saturn, god of time. Mm. Oh, that's a different Kronos. So uh, we didn't get that one. Not according to the three different sources I looked at, but I'm prepared to be you wrong. You looked at the fourth. Yeah. Kronos with an O is time. Kronos with a U is uh, Zeus's father. Oh, ah, that's they're not the, the same person. Not the same person. Well, I will accept either one for an answer. Okay, three. All right, so we're good then. Very diplomatic. Okay. <laughs> three, Pluto, Roman to the Greek Hades, god of the underworld. Disney dog. No, I hate to say this, but Sagan told us that. Sure did. <laughs> and we didn't Sagan. believe her. I, hate to say it. I, I was I was kind of thinking Rob should get that because he should know that Pluto you, was you hate Pluto was given that name because my, it's my, my, said Pluto was underworld. my brain was malfunctioning and I was thinking of it in reverse. We didn't know about the planet Pluto, so therefore there couldn't have been. But that was ah. totally wrong. Yeah, it's Pluto's named after the the dog, 
Mickey's dog. Four, Ares, oh, that's a mess. Greek to the Roman Mars, god of war. Well, I believe it. I spelled it wrong, though. Yeah, nobody cares. Five, Hermes, Greek to the Roman Mercury, god of wealth, merchants, travelers, her heralds, messengers, and a bunch of other things. He goes he's on forever. Over 16. He's, over he's over 16. She says he goes on forever. Six is Gaia. Yay. 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 Oh. I'm, just, I'm just here to channel Sagan. So it's <laughs> not Demeter? No. Demeter is series. Okay. Six. Uh, I mean, seven. Trick question. It's Uranus in both. Ah, oh, oh, that's crazy. right. Cool. Yeah. So if we didn't have yeah. anything for it, we got it right. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. What no. if you left it blank? No, we put <laughs> Uranus for Uranus. <laughs> we actually thought that it might be a trick question. Yeah. H. Cupid, Roman to the Greek hero. Thank, Thank you, Sagan. Thank you, Sagan. Thank you, Sagan. Thank you, Sagan. Oh, wait. Nine. Oh. oh. Soul. Right. Roman oh. god, oh. Oh. god of the sun. I wrote that down and crossed it out. Oh, damn. And oh, Rob, why'd you ten? I don't know if anyone got ten correct. First trivia. Maybe. Ah. Trivia. Someone got it. Yep. Got trivia. It. Yep. What? what? Trivia. Oh. The answer oh. ten is wow. trivia. An epithet of the Roman goddess Hecate. And Diane Artemis, each in their roles as the protector of the crossroads. Trivia, three way. Wow. Oh, wow. So Trivia. Ooh. Three yep. roads. Oh. Oh. Sure. Ooh. I never heard Susan point. say that today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the proper pronunciation of the other name is Hecate. Hecate. Yeah. I've heard yeah. never said. Hecate and Hecate. You you mentioned trivia somewhere in your this discourse tonight. I'm sure I did, but I would never in my life, wildest dreams, have gotten that clue. What if I had said trivia? What maybe, if I had said the clue maybe, Susan has said this word in every single yeah. trivia session we've ever had? Maybe Susan <laughs> said three way. I think Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely. Not every likely. time. I said, "What we, what Peggy came up with a good one." She says, "It's probably one of your cats." Yeah, that's <laughs> what we said. We were trying we were to find like, out, remember the names of the cats versus. are the ones that would, but it nothing fit. We, yeah. we not Hamilton, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ariadne, maybe. Ariadne, you, no. Yeah, yeah. You didn't name one of your no. cats. I mean, they sort of sound weird like that, but yeah. we discussed the cats also at our team. We did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we were wondering if you'd name one of your cats huntress <laughs> <laughs> what are your cats names ariadne, ariadne hamilton and imogen and look she's and imogen. my strong imogen was the one we didn't remember the name yeah of. Right. imogen let's see imogen 25 at the dollar store so batteries okay let's just let's see it. imogen imogen was the daughter of holtz who wrote who wrote the planet suite <laughs> Well, Ariadne, the... is, she's named after Ariadne Oliver. And and oh, by no, the way, no, no, no. On, on the Kronos, you'll notice both spellings of mine is O-S. Okay, let's do points. So we're going to go start with shoot. He's guilty of murder. Are you going to show us the... Uh, uh... Oh, oh, you guys have to... Well, we cannot go off the trajectory at all. No. Everything must be as it always is. You guys are saying Yes. Piero right. says so. So, Just, shoot, he's guilty of murder. Six. What? Right. China knows their lab caused COVID. They knew it right off the bat. Ten. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Okay, we have a so right to an alien. Nine. Nine. Don't sound discouraged with that nine. <laughs> Oops. Um, mm. The jury is in. Six. Six. Okay, sad, we with sad. low confidence yeah. that our team will win. Carl's team. The curse of Susan, five. The lowest score in the oh. round. And we only got a, <laughs> and we got a couple of those because Sagan was on the team. That's true. All right. We would have had And we should have listened for Pluto. Mm -hmm. Very good. We would have had a three. <laughs> Woo, we're in last place. Woo! Woo Love it. Places. I My brother love on it. that team. 
Okay, so before we can go to break, we have to sing happy birthday. So it's it's Zeke's birthday. It's Ooh. Carolyn's birthday. Who else's wow. birthday? It's my wife's birthday in two days. It's oh. John's birthday. Who? John. John. John and Ron's wife's birthday. What's your wife's birthday? Well, she's not here and they can't hear us. Is John, can he, can John hear us? John, <laughs> sing to them if they can't hear. Can you hear us? <clears throat> Excuse me. He doesn't want to. I know, but <laughs> my dog is keeping me from muting. Monday was my niece's birthday. Ask. All right, you guys don't count. All right, so let's, unless John shows up, we can't, we have to sing to the person who's here because we have to use our best golden tones, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys know the rules of this, right? Whatever tune you want, whatever there are no speed rules. you want. <laughs> okay, you get into the, whatever you want or start whenever you want. Is John there? What means this? He went to bed already. <laughs> well, that's oh, good. Saying happy, happy birthday. Look, look who I got. Look who I got. Hi, Zeke. Oh, hi. hi. Okay. So well, you can do day. a three part harmony in that one now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to harmonize. Okay, so it's Zeke's birthday, you guys. Oh. Well, it's coming up, whatever. I have my magic light because I don't know why. All right, ready? One and a two and a three and a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 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 <laughs> hey, thank you. Right? That was you are really miserable. I love that. <laughs> Happy birthday. Just, oh, she's still singing. She's still singing. Okay, very good. <laughs> Touchdown. Okay. Five minute break, everybody. Okay. Five minutes. Picture. picture. No, wait, wait, get a picture. picture. Come back. Oh, picture. Picture. Oh, you have to do it after the break now. Some people right. walked away. Oh, did some people walk away? Okay. Let's yeah, go. All right, come back to the break. Come back to the break. We'll do that from the break. Okay. Susan, All right. Bye. Okay. Susan or Zeke? Did did uh, Sagan get to see the babies? Does she want to see the babies? You want to see a baby? Which babies? Chicken. Baby chickens. Yeah. Baby chickens? We all yeah, want to see them. Late. If you came late, yeah. you, you, you missed them. The I'll go back and we'll see if they're... show you the baby chicken. They're, they're very tiny. How many are there? Two. She oh. sat on six eggs and... Okay, they're yeah. underneath she her, but chair. we'll oh, just... Nice. Wait and see if they come out. I'm gonna do a thing here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's the mama, and they're underneath her, keeping warm. Aww. I'll blow her up a little bit. They may or may I'll not. Blow up your out. chicken. I just, I'm trying to. I'm trying to stretch the. It, you know, it's not me. It's the universe. Oh, you do that, huh? Well, there's the mama, anyway, huh? Yeah. Not uh, 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 very weird. We're oh there. Okay. I'll, um, I'll, I've got a picture. I I changed my um my profile to a picture. If I shot, it, I'll sh I'll show you the picture. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, the little face. Look at that. Yeah, he's poking out. Yeah, that was a couple days ago. <laughs> so there's a. Oops, oop, oop, oop. Yeah. It's the wrong Aww. thing. So how long they before gonna... they become nugget size? <laughs> they're, they're they're about they're just a they were a nugget size when they were hatched. Let me just let me show you something. And then she, now, she was saying that off to Jason. Yeah. That's Are they going to be eggs. white? Oh, look at the egg. Oh, it's little. That, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Can you look and, you, the egg. and when they you wouldn't believe Who's it was hard to believe because oh, yeah. when they straighten up, they're curled up in there. They straighten yeah. up and they're down fluffs out and you can't believe that they they actually ever, that they ever fit yeah. you need about nine of those to make an omelet though jeez yeah. but yeah i'll just i'll well i actually have to go to the bathroom
Oh. Let me do no, I well, you better go do that. Take your no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, I, I'll, do, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'm going to need more sawdust than that. I'll just, um, there. Oh, I, I, I got it. Okay. Okay. Well, right. I'm going to go to the bathroom. So just keep so. an eye, and they might come out. I'm still recording. Okay. They might come out. Huh? Yeah. Let me get something else. There's a rock. All right, there. Do you see the face? He's, he's look. He's peeking out. Oh, and I had a little thing on the hand. It's sitting on chicken wire, so it's there. He came out. The the yellow one came out once, and there's the white one. There you go. Oh, there they are. Off. Yeah. yeah, they're like, what's going on? What's who's making all the noise? All right, I'm gonna, I'll just leave it like that. I'll go to the bathroom. She had a screen. We had kitten cam and now we have chicky cam. Yeah. Poppy cam, too. Oh, what do you hear about us chickens? Oh. Chickens are decent people. Whenever Bob. I see chickens, it reminds me of soup. Bob, none of my none of my hens have shown the slightest inclination to get broody yet, but it's so cold. I and think he's he's at the bathroom, Janine. He uh, just left his phone for us to look at the chicks. So you'll have to oh, tell him okay. when he gets back. So Janine, yeah. how cold is it? Um well we had it down to <laughs> into I meant the it teens as like the other night, and then we had snow. The snow's melted now. Thank goodness. It's so cold that the snow's melted. Yeah. Now it's warmed up oh, again. Oh, going so back. So the in. snow melted. So. Cute. Yeah. I think it's too early for my hands to get broody. Is that the same Hold word that the oh, Australians oh, use for clucky? Well, somebody else is doing the whole category. I don't know. They want me to go in the group and stay there. Category. Okay. Category. Ow, ow, ow. All right. Okay, we back from our break. I gotta run back. She's gonna run back. I still have seven. Category. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Has it been five minutes? Did you set a timer, Susan? Huh? Did you set a timer? Yeah. It's been six minutes. <laughs> I have an internal clock. I know what five minutes. Mm -hmm. And the chicken. Sometimes, sometimes a five-minute break isn't enough. We might have to extend it to ten. Okay, we need our we needed our photo. Well, we got to see if the chicken guy's back yet. I'm yeah, I'm well, back. I'm yeah, back. the camera's moving, right. so he's back. Mono, I'm, back. I'm gonna Boy. I'm gonna leave it. I'll do this for the picture, and then I'll go back. <laughs> so. Okay, well, I'm waiting for Mono, and I'm waiting for Peggy. So let's see what else we have today. So we've got, uh, but, but George is so cute. Well, that's just a, well, that is true. Bob, you should share your screen if you can. He is sharing his screen. He is. Just pin, pin my, pin yeah, my just window. pin it. All you gotta do is pin oh. it. Pin it, yeah. Come on, come on. How long have you been using Zoom? Get, get with the program. Oh, did they both go back in for warmth? They were getting chilly. Yeah. Okay, so. uh, it's probably bedtime. They're, yeah. How, they're how old are the Bob? How old are the babies? So this is their this is their eighth eighth day. Eighth day. Well, no, I didn't no, know I could pin it. Thank you. 
their ninth day. Yeah, and whoever yeah, was I, saying share your screen, Zoom doesn't work like that. It, Zoom will not allow you to share a Zoom screen. Yeah, I didn't know that. I just pinned it and it works. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. And if you have multiple monitors, so, you can so pin uh, different videos to each oh, monitor. There's a oh, if you guys haven't been following the Murdoch trial, I'm sorry. No, no, it was don't care. really exciting. It Robin, was. Robin yes. watched it. I watched who else? Anybody else? Murdoch? My wife and I, my wife was addicted to it. Oh, me too. Oh my I, God. I watched a little bit and she got me hooked on it towards the I end. just watched the highlights most of the time and read a lot of stuff because I just couldn't watch it from beginning to the end. And if and if you're interested in trying it, go uh Google up. Uh, search for Emily D. Baker on YouTube and you can watch the whole thing with her commentary. Yeah. She's a great legal commentator. She does a lot of stuff. I, I've been watching with somebody named um, Lee Lawyer. She's in the South and I'm just watching it because I was enjoying, oh, here comes, let's see. Uh, I was really enjoying because she has such a really fun accent and she would do an <laughs> hour long and she had a whole episode with a person who's, who's um, who was severely addicted to um, uh, opioids and she interviewed him and he also does uh he has he, anyway he's an expert on what it's like to be an opioid addict and so he works with addicts of all kinds now so they had him on it was so interesting because they asked him all these questions about what would it be like or what, what you know what was too much and what did this you know how much it cost it was, it was a really interesting episode about what it's like i bet he said i was never on the verge of killing my spouse and my child <laughs> and my child you know i couldn't understand that people kept saying oh he loved him he wouldn't kill him and you're like what happens all the time <laughs> you know it's sorry it just it's not like they're dead so obviously somebody killed them you know and why wouldn't it have been the husband um, uh, i love emily was um going on about how one of the lawyers i i could hear him in my mind but i can't remember his name <laughs> Sounded just like one of the lawyers from my cousin Vinny. Oh, they were talking about that. Yeah, I guess it was yeah. common. She so called him really the my cousin Vinny guy. It's, it's, there's so many Columbo and Agatha Christie, yeah, really impossible scenarios that happen. There's there's like, if you if you think it, it there's like five murders. This has just been murder yeah. after murder from 2018 on, and then this and it's it's crazy if you, if you look at the trail of dead bodies in that family. And here's this guy sitting there. He looks like a nice guy. I mean, I'd probably, uh, he made me feel sorry for him. Right, he sounds good. like a nice guy. He looks like a nice guy. He's not a nice guy. No. Jeffrey, Do Jeffrey Dahmer looks like, like a nice guy. Jeffrey Dahmer looks like a nice guy. It's a really good murder trial. If you guys like Ted Bundy did too. It's exciting. Yeah. Okay. So I think everybody's back. Troy's back. Mono's not back. Peggy's not back. Okay. What's well, this? We're gonna do our picture. So let's do our picture. So everybody give me your best. Come here, Sagan. No, Sagan's, right Sagan's going to be in two pictures. Okay, ready, everybody? Let me find my picture thing. Okay, everybody ready? Oh, there's mono. Okay, good. All ready? One, two, three. Okay. I think I got it. Maybe. I think I might not be in it. Well, where were you? Oh, no. No big deal. You've been in it before. Yeah. Okay. Copy and paste. Copy them in. Copy them in. Get the worst picture you can find in shopping. Got a bunch of people that used to shop all the time and then they haven't been showing up. Where have we been going? Oh, well. I guess I'll, I guess I'll say good night. Oh, you're going to leave us? Good night, Jim. Oh, good night, Jim. You just hang around for the photo. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Kyle, are you back? I am. Oh, Kyle's here. Good, Kyle. What do you got going on? I got nothing new. I took a week off of the podcast while we were out of town. So you can just tune into that same ESP episode I mentioned, but got some other good things on the way. Well, now new surveys you. coming in, Kyle. Indeed. You, if, if you want to give out the links one more time, because tomorrow, right? Are we meeting tomorrow? We are. Yep. 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So Carl and I, Carl. <laughs> You're just really bad at that, Susan. <laughs> what? 
why do I do that all the time? I'm not even thinking. Kyle and I are going to talk tomorrow about this. I'm going to start calling you Sharon. How about that? Oh, no, this doesn't sound right. I don't look like a Sharon. I don't exactly. even know like Susan. I don't even think of Susan. I, I feel more like a Gerbic. That feels more like. I Susan. call my son by my dog's name sometimes. So. That's like yeah. the worst. There you go. Yeah. My kids. I've done that for years. Yeah. My sister, my son, and my dog are all like interchangeable. Like, are those all things that annoy you and you just shout them out in frustration? No, it just uh, Randy, out. the question is, does he put you in the doghouse after you do that? No, let me know, but my, my siblings. Do you say good I boy if you response? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my mom had eight kids. Give him a treat. If she was yelling at you, you'd have to wait for her to get two or three names <laughs> down and find you and get the right oh, name. I remember oh, being mad at my dad because he would always get our names mixed up, and I'm the last of eight kids. And I just have two kids, and I call them by each other's names constantly. So I'm like thinking to myself, "Sorry, Dad." Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my brother, my brother's name is Jeremy, and there were only two of us, and we were Jebra and Deremy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jebra, I'm gonna call you Jebra. That's good. Okay, so I've just put a link in. I've started because I love analyzing psychic readings. I find that so fun to do and so I've put I've just started it I'm I'm playing a reading and then I stop and I analyze it and I've done four I just finished my fourth one they're all right now it's John Edward they're eye-opening I'm going to do an article for Skeptical Inquirer about at least this set of four that I did it's so interesting Carolyn says she's watched the first one has anybody else watched any yeah I, I watched, I, I watched I did. how many I did. did you do it was great. I mean, I really liked it. And I usually get bored with these things. No offense to anybody, but I wasn't <laughs> bored because it was very like, you're very likable. Aww, and, thank you. and so it was great. I like, I listened to two of them. Okay. Well, there's two more out, Terry. Well, thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. They were, it's fun to do. And, and you're, and I'm only watching the video once and taking some brief notes and then i go through it again like as if you're watching it too and then i'm just tearing it to pieces and it's amazing it's eye-opening to me i i really hadn't thought yes. normally you listen to a psychic reading you pick up things here and there but when especially when you watch them in chunks like this you're really like oh my gosh i can't believe he just said that or he did that or he's getting away with that and i like how you emphasize it to be compassionate for the sitter you know, because they're grieving and stuff. And I think that was, yes. that was a good touch. So agreed, agreed. You're very kind about it. Oh, I'm very kind. I get very, uh... I get very sarcastic in these things a little bit. I get into it. I'm like, I am just like, oh, Susan, Susan, calm down. Susan. You'll see me say that because it's just <laughs> very frustrating some of the stuff. But anyway, that's out right now. I have uh, just recorded with, uh, oh, so I'm going to record with Kyle. Kyle, I did it right tomorrow and then that'll be out in a couple of weeks it's like the second part of the video we did so if he puts the um link to the survey we'll we'll talk about that and that will be fun i'm really looking forward to that i just did a recording with um seth andrews so that's going to be out maybe next week yeah or the week after that or something like that that's going to be a youtube video and i think one of the podcasts too Oh, I think this is Karen that's entering right now. So do you mean you were interviewed for the I, Thinking Atheist? The Thinking Atheist, yeah. Ooh, nice. so, so I've got that. That's good. And we've got other things going on. And I have something else happening that I'm not 100% sure is going to end up happening. Ooh, that's a disco. But uh, we'll Yay! see. There's all sorts of exciting things. Karen, do, you know that, do you know that your article was published today? Oh, and I have an article out today. And I should put it. Somewhere. Yeah, I just saw it like an hour ago. I don't know when it's. Yeah, going. it's a GSOW one. Don't read it if you're thinking you don't want to join because it's it's a. Heavy That's a double person. negative. I don't understand double negatives. <laughs> don't read it if you don't want to join. If you don't so want to do join, read it if yes, you want to join. If you don't want to be tempted to join, you might not want to read it because it's a heavy push towards to join at least to upload <laughs> photos for us because we really could use we we, we spend so much time on the paranormal <clears> and all that kind of stuff. We really don't spend as much time on the pure science. And so I, we really need more help with science. So it's there for you. Okay, so I think we're done with that. Let's, uh, nothing else that I'm missing? Anything else anybody's got? Rob, you don't have anything? Nope. 
I did a whole, uh, Richard Saunders was just here. And so the last skeptic zone was, was him sitting in my green chair, the one Sagan sitting in. It was, I heard that. Yeah. And uh, and he was sitting there just like, I can't get up. So then you're going to have to do the show. So I did the show. It was fun. Anyway, so I put up the, I put but, this. But you, you couldn't run downstairs because you don't have a downstairs. I don't have a downstairs. So I ran around the corner, jumped over the cat, that kind of thing. Okay. Are we back? Uh, Susan, may I say something? Yes, Karen. Elf? This is Karen calling in. She's on the phone. Oh. Is this on her freshly washed uh, I, uh, um, iPhone? If this no, is recording, no, this, now everybody knows your phone number. Uh, no, it's not. I, I am sitting. Nope. I am sitting at the general manager's desk at a hotel in Southern California. <laughs> Are you fleeing? Did, did you get the rice okay. out, Karen? No, no, yeah. I, this is, this is a landline. It's, it's actually, there's a cord and there are, uh, there are cables. <laughs> you can, you can hear the cord while you're talking. Do wow. you have to ask the operator to put you through? <laughs> are you doing a 90s please. reenactment? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say how did, very Did the 90s. phone at least have buttons instead of a dial? Does it there look you like a hamburger? Have, it has a crank. <laughs> is it a print? Not exactly. Crank? It- but I am actually, I'm actually looking at a YouTube screen of uh, past uh, social trivia with Susan. <laughs> Orders or command of one or more senior members. Oh wow, this is really this is cool to have her. She's running for the border, you guys. She's like five to six hours away from us, so she must be making a run for the border. Who are you talking about? Karen. If she's what? down in LA. That's a long ways for me, and she's she's, she's been done. Got- She's been what are you doing in LA, Karen? For a while now. Repeat. What are you doing in LA? Um, I've been trying to obtain some um, uh, official documents from the county of LA for almost a month now, and um, I decided to just come down here and walk in and get them. And it took me once I walked in the door, it took me 15 minutes. Something I've been working on over a month. Wow. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Isn't that ridiculous? Sometimes the old person is better. Smoke them? Those kind of doctors? Repeat. Is this, you it roll them a, up and smoke a, them? It was a death certificate for someone oh. who died in test state. No will. Oh, come on sorry. in. Sing you can come in. I can hear a knocking on the door. It's not, <laughs> a, not a FOIA thing. So not the hard. person died come in, on in. A, You're okay to come in. Mm-hmm. In it, in it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't lock it. You're the one that left. So, all right, here we go. Are we ready to start again? Yes. Okay, she's I'm ready. Out. You need a blanket? No. Okay. What? Just a finger fiddler. Okay. She's got a finger fiddler. Okay. I was so, are you ready friend. for me? Yes. I, I have to give you your powers. It's okay. clash, and I'm kind of worried about making putting you in co, co- lead here, there, Gail. <laughs> well, I can understand why you would be. All right. Let's see what you got for me. Okay, uh, the category is it's on Snopes. Ooh. Oh, goody. Okay, so uh, so and I deal with it. Let me give you one more bit of information before we get started with things. There are, I'm going to give you 10 things that Snopes investigated. I hope and assume you all know what Snopes is. Yeah. And these were all things from social media that Snopes did, and they put a rating on each one of them. So these are multiple choice questions, but they're all these choices that I've just posted. There are There is on Snopes a list of all the different symbols and what they mean, and it was a very long list. So I limited it to the answers are that they, what did they rate each one of these claims that I'm going to give you? Okay. They rated them either as true, false, a mixture of true and false, miscaptioned, or undetermined. So the answer to each one of the 10 questions will be one of those answers. So it's a five point part multiple choice. Does that make sense Could you tell us, no, could you tell us what miscaptioned means? I've never seen that. That's when they you see a photo and the photo is actually they say it's from Nepal, but actually it was taken in Disneyland or something. And they're just 
it's they're saying that the show the, the claim isn't completely wrong but it isn't what it said it was right the picture that is not I know my snow. So then what's the difference between a mixture and a miscaptioned? Mix, mixture means it's partly true and partly false. That's what you just said about miscaptioned. No, miscaptioned. No. No, miscaptioned a... means that the photo and the claim might be real, but the argument with it is incorrect. For example, a good example of miscaptioned is, here's a photo of this person taken during the summer and it's snowing but it wasn't the photo of that person. It was an actual photo of that person, but it wasn't taken during the summer. Right, it's, it's more picture related. It's miscaptioned. Okay, so- Or disinformation spreaders will put a, like, let's say a, a photograph of a protest march and they'll say, you know, violence broke out, whatever, but it's not, it's a completely different event right. than so what the they're is real. claiming it is. So, so, so the, the, story, is real, the story is real, but the, there's a picture associated with it, which is wrong. Exactly. A picture or or a, a yes, a picture. And usually picture. the picture is deliberately misleading. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. The point right. is, right. and right. I'm not going to show you the pictures. The pictures are misleading. Okay, we got it. We got okay. it. We got it. I'm that, sorry. That what's Snopes again? Stop. Stop. I'm Stop. kidding. Stop. 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 I know what Snopes is. I, of course this, you do. This takes long enough. Let's. Are we going to? Who wants to? Terry, are you ready? Yeah, are we're we gonna mute. Are we rude? Go ahead, Terry, are we muting everyone? Okay, okay, you're gonna have to unmute in just a second. Okay, here is the first question. Consumers need to be careful because more water in a microwave can explode. And that is in italics, just the way it's there. Question two. The claim is that Tucker Carlson privately called Trump a demonic force after the Capitol riot. Okay, number three. Does Roger Stone have a tattoo of Richard Nixon on his back? Number four. Was there a TV program in the 1950s that showed con man named Trump who offered to save the people in the village by building walls around their homes? Number five, was, was there, this is past tense, was there a billboard in Missouri that showed President Trump alongside a gospel quote? This is when he was president. Okay. Question six. A baby was born clutching his failed IUD. Number seven, is there a recently proposed GOP bill in the House that would make the AR-15 the national gun of the United States? Blanket. Number eight, okay. was there a banner at an August 2022 CPEC conference that read, we are all domestic terrorists. Okay, so you have the quotation mark, including the question mark. Is that correct way to phrase that? Um, there was no, the banner the, with the question mark? Forget the quotation mark. mark. Number nine. 
Number nine, since there is a bruise on his forehead in the photo, this is evidence that Snopes was incorrect when it claimed that the post Biden fell out of Air Force One as he disembarked in Ukraine was not true. That is the claim being made that Snopes is responding to. So the claim being made is that Snopes was wrong when it said that Biden fell out of the plane on Air Force One as he disembarked was false. Does that make sense? They, Snopes claimed it was false. Someone posted that Snopes was wrong when they claimed it was false because Biden has a bruise on his forehead. And they had a picture of Biden with a bruise on his forehead. Snopes responded to the claim that they were wrong. How did they respond to that? And the last one I'm going to give you a little bit more information on. First, the claim. And this one, I think, required more. Did, did Trump tweet, say peaceful on the day of the Capitol riot? And I'm going to give you what they actually said in the claim for this one, just to make sure you understand what the claim was. So here is the actual claim that Snopes responded to. The claim was, a meme on social media says that on January 6, 2021, the day of the riot at the US Capitol, then US President Donald Trump tweeted his followers to remain peaceful with no violence and urge them to support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. What was Snopes' response to that claim on social media? Okay, any questions? No. Okay, let's go then. Good job. I love Snopes. Okay, I gotta put Karen in the room. And I gotta put Zeke back in her room. Zeke is in one, right? Yeah. And Karen, you get to go on room four. It's called, shoot, he's guilty of murder. <laughs> So funny. That'd be great. That'd be great. Go room Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey. We have Thank a you. we have a real alien balloon, a balloon alien, and we have a 10-year-old. So awesome. Is the 10-year-old the ringer on this one? No, she was a ringer on the last category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are these five our possible answers? True, false, mixture. Mis miscaptioned and undetermined. We have to pick one of those. Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I think there was only one that that had a picture. I, yeah. I think so. Well, they all. Well, what about the bruise? The I'll show them to you for the moment. There's a. There's the bruise. So that. Oh, oh, wait, Gail. So they all had pictures. They all had pictures. These are all claims on social media. The picture, the picture isn't required yet. I'll show them to you when I show you the answers. What I mean is, so they all had pictures, so they all could be miscaptioned. Yes. Well, we know question three, he does have a tattoo of Richard Nixon on his back. So yes, yes he does. does. Right. right. For example. That's so right. crazy. That is true. Did Number true. one. It is true. It can explode. Okay. True. I don't think yes is an answer. True is an answer. Okay, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number one is true. Okay. Did and number two is true. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It was in the Dominion uh, legal deposition where they got all the internal communications between Fox people and Tucker Carlson warned that by uh, not going all in for Trump, Trump was a demonic force who could destroy them. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I think I do remember that now that you've said it. Yeah. Okay. Could these all be true? No, number four is false. How do you know that? I remember this story going around and it seemed too good to be true and it turned out to be too good. <laughs> And I guess it can't be a mixture and it can't be miscaptioned and it can't be undetermined. It's just false, right? Okay. 
uh, five seem. That okay. sounds true to me. Okay. Oh, five. Yeah, that is that is true. But I don't know that it's true, but it sounds true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could it be um, okay? Could it be a mixture or a miscaption or undetermined? Well, true. Uh, I think there's a billboard with a gospel quote that President Trump could be beside. was either on or he stood beside it, and there's a picture. So I don't know which though. Could it be mixture then? It could be, but no. She's not saying that Trump says that. She's just saying there is a picture of him alongside. So I think it sounds true. Yeah, but that's sc scopes. Snopes is tricky. Yeah. Okay, number six. I don't know. No. Well, that's ridiculous. I don't think I'm thinking false. I don't, I don't think a baby was born holding an IUD, but I'm concerned that now she's saying that there could have been a picture that could have been miscaptioned or, but see, she didn't say in the question that there was a picture. I feel like we there might be a picture of a baby holding an IUD. Well, I'm saying there could have been a picture that was would, doctored. Yeah, or something to that effect. But see, I think I don't think that I don't think a baby. I think that would just be false, though. ID. Yeah, so I want to say false, but see, I don't think we have enough information because she didn't say that a picture. She didn't describe the picture. Right. Had you being in Rob's room right now? <laughs> I love you, Rob. I know you're watching. Um, I think it's. I think it's false. Okay. I'd say false. Yeah. False is I mean, fine. A mixture would be that a baby is born, but not clutching a IUD, right? Well, so yeah, a baby IUD with the baby in the uterus somewhere. Um. Right? Could a could an IUD right? Like an IUD, a baby was born and an IUD existed in the came uterus. out too. Right. But not with it in its hand. Right. That would almost be just too perfect for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more. I don't it in yeah. Yeah. IUD, could an IUD go into the womb? Yeah. It can? I mean, it can, but it would impale the mother. I mean, this isn't something you want floating around. Yeah. Wouldn't that cause all manner of infections? And Yeah. Oh, I think you're right. So it's probably false. But it just sounds like it could be something... Okay. Is I there gotta be seven being a mixture. The house make the... Yes, I have heard this. Seven. I have mixture. Seven I think it's seven. a mixture. Which which one? Seven. seven. Seven is true, I thought. Oh, it is true? Okay. Yeah, I, I read that there was this uh, congressman from Arkansas someplace who said oh, we have national decent why don't we have a national gun? And but is it a bill, a proposed bill? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going anywhere, but it's one of those things that makes a good uh, headline for his local newspaper. Right. And he fundraises off of it, I'm sure. I need to become closer to these Canadians over here. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. I know. <laughs> okay. Was there a banner at the August 2022 CPAC conference at Red? We are all the, I believe that that's true. No. Wait. Maybe. This caption, I don't know. I could see it being a, a mixture a that they're saying that there was a banner, but not actually saying they are like it was supposed to be sarcastic or something. I don't know. Oh, like a sarcastic. Um... Yeah, yeah. I think that was sarcasm. So it would may... that be? Yeah. That sounds... Would that be true? I don't know if it's true or false, but if it's true, it's just it meant in a sarcastic way. Right. Yeah. Well, then that'd be true. But we don't know if it happened. Yeah, I don't know if it actually happened or not, but I could totally I, see it happening. I don't think so. Who puts sarcasm on a banner? People at the CPOP pap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you see what they did at the 22? 2022 one is they had they had that guy in a 
a jail. They had an actor in a little prison cell and he just, he sat there and cried. Yeah. Yeah. And didn't Marjorie Taylor Greene or Lauren Bobert go inside the jail and... Like pray with him or something? I, I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do we? What are we saying for eight? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. So we're going to say false or mixture. I would. I'm leaning towards mixture or miscaptioned. Could have been another conference. Ooh. You know something a little more. Like an, crazy. like it was a liberal conference, and the picture was actually from the. Lab. It could have been. It could have been anywhere. And they just tacked it onto the CPAC conference. It could be. Oh, that's that's good. I could go with that. It's captioned. It's captioned. Okay. So what, what's the answer? It's captioned. Okay, nine was a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Snopes had a photo up that said no. Does somebody understand this? Well, I'm confused by it. So Snopes claimed that it was not true. Yeah, that the picture that I guess it was fake. Okay, one one point <laughs> of fact, uh, Biden didn't go to Ukraine on Air Force One. He went to Poland and he took a train from Poland to Ukraine. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. uh, we're missing, so maybe this... we're, we're looking at this photo confusion and it's staring us right there in the face. He didn't go to Ukraine. Oh, yeah. so would this be a mixture? I mean, out of, out of, her, okay, could it be a mixture? Because he did go to Ukraine. He had a bruise. Did he have well, a bruise? Well, he gets bruises. Right? He falls off his bicycle and all kinds of. 80 years old. Yeah. Alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's just miscaption. It could be that other one. That last one undetermined. Well, it could be there is a photo of him with a bruise, right? And then they're saying that it that it, he got it from falling out of the train. On no, train. Air Force One. No, so that Air Force oh, One. So that uh, makes that part Force false. One. That makes that part false because he didn't go on Air Force One. So that would mean it's miscaptioned, wouldn't it? Like or, the photo saying. Okay, then it's a mixture because part of it's false, part of it's miscaptioned. I okay, think there, 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 are so many there are so many statements here. That I know. <laughs> one is that Biden fell. The other is fell out of Air Force One. The other is when he was disembarking and the other is in Ukraine. So, I mean, there are four fact claims there. Yeah. Now, I'm okay. not sure. So, so I it... Okay. Mixed. I think it's a good call that it could be a mixture. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are so many claims. I agree. Because what I'm thinking he's saying, they're saying is that here's a photo that's been going around social media of Biden with a bruise. It's floating around. And the claim underneath the picture is Biden fell out of Air Force One as he disembarked from Ukraine. So that's so false. That would be a miscaption because the yeah, picture right. is a real picture of Biden with a bruise. But it's also false. But the so he might have fallen out of Air Force One, but yeah. not not disembarking in Ukraine. Ukraine. Well, the whole thing the whole thing was made up. Mixture. I don't know how to. I, yeah, it could be of, false. It's hard to know. Okay, I, yeah. I, I predict there's going to be a lot of arguments and the. Argument. I agree. I yeah, mine is going to have. Yeah, I, I can see that. Did Trump treat tweet stay peaceful on the day of? I, I don't that. think so, but he might have. I thought he, he said like something. It was something he about said some, he said it, but he I did not tweet it. it. No, at the end of the day, he oh. did tweet saying, "We love you. You're wonderful people. Please go home." But I can't. I don't recall him saying, "Remain peaceful with no violence during that time." No, was, right. That's exactly. I agree a hundred percent with what you yeah. just said. Me too. So you don't think that maybe he said the word "say peaceful" on the. At the yeah, party? yeah, but he didn't tweet it. So then that would be a mixture. False. False. Oh, okay. False. Is, I, yeah, I wish he had just said true or false at this time. I agree. I know. <laughs> but I. So ten is false. Or no, that's eleven. Yeah. No idea. 
Oh, I see. That's all the same. Okay. It's all the same, yeah. So, but, yeah. Yeah. So we don't really, we have not used all of the different options in our answer. I know. I know. Because <laughs> they're weird. They're hard to, mm -hmm. what is undetermined? It means we can't know. Well, how is that different than mixture? Yeah, so you're going to have some fights on this, on this Snope definition. Snope says mixture means this, the, the claim is partly a true claim and partly a false claim. Okay, undetermined means they can't tell if it's true or not. Oh, maybe number six is undetermined. No. Well, of course, the, because they've got a photo. Yeah, but the photo can be fake. Right, so that's why I'm thinking they say it's fake. Can you tell always if a photo is fake? I think it would either be false or it would be miscaptioned. Like well, that would mean that a, there is a picture of a baby holding a, a, a IUD as it exits the. Room. Oh right, so it would have to be false. It could be photoshopped. If right, it's photoshopped, it if it's photoshopped, then would that be false? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, Gail, are you getting are you giving getting hecklers from the other rooms? No, I'm just getting the same kind of questions that you're having because okay. these are their categories, not mine. And yeah. these were their, what their categories were. Yeah. Um, do you think I can close the room? So we are you almost yeah, finished? Okay. We're done. Yeah. And if we're done, then we don't care. <laughs> it'll be somebody. It'll be Robin's thing. She'll do, say. Uh, do everybody? Does everybody agree with this? Uh, what we have on the page? I think so. Any second thoughts? No. Okay. Is she doing it now? Where is she? Right there. Huh. Huh. <laughs> She's lollipopping. My cat is lollipopping a uh, catnip mouse, apparently. But out of my eye shot, shot, I can't see it. Oh, Jeannie Scott, she wrote me. But oh, so okay, I'll take a minute. I saved a video for you. Okay. It's weird, huh? Why would she like that? Did Biden fall out of Air Force One? I, I, he I fell on the that. steps climbing up Air Force One. But okay. that was a long time ago, long before. It was early in his presidency. Okay. But uh, he he didn't hit his head, so he wouldn't have got a bruise on his forehead from that. He just and he, stumbled. Didn't, he didn't fall out. Uh, he fell up the steps. He was climbing up the steps, and he missed his footing, and then he fell forward a bit. And then he got up and fell forward again. Okay, so, then this, I don't know how this is, any of this is true. None of this is true. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Do I we think, want to change it? I think we I, should say it's false. That's okay by me. Is everyone back? Are we ready to go through the answers? I'm sharing the screen. Yeah. Like I said to every group, I will show you what was what the claim was and what Snopes said. And I'm going to show it to you on this PowerPoint that I made. And after I've gone through all of them with the right answers, I will post them all in chat, including a link to this PowerPoint if you want to read it, because we won't have time to read all the information on the PowerPoint. I summarized what was on the Snopes for each one of them, okay? Right. All right, the first one, consumers need to be careful because water in a microwave can explode. It is true. And that is the Snopes symbol for true. Mm. That's rare, but it definitely can happen. It happened to me once. Wow. Does that even have too? a solution here? That's why I put it in purple. Yeah, it happens a lot when you don't have uh, any impurities in the water. 
exactly. pure water, no impurities on the glass. It, it just should just stir it. If you get some air in it, it won't happen usually. They well, also they claim it, that heat. if you if you put something in the bowl that has like a like a, a, a rubber stick or something, it'll be okay in the cup. Actually, actually it's right, it's an uneven surface. As a matter of interest, long before Snopes did this, I got a call from a newspaper reporter who said that one of their readers had had this asked had happened and want to know if it could happen. So the newspaper reporter called me because I was in the physics department and said, can this happen? <laughs> so I looked into it and said, yeah, it can happen because if it's, it gets superheated, as, as somebody pointed out, if, it's, if there are no impurities in the water and yep. the, the container is very smooth, like a Pyrex thing with curved bottom and no sharp edges, and you put it in the microwave, the water gets superheated, meaning that it bubbles can't form. That's how it normally releases the excess heat, <laughs> forms bubbles, but bubbles need impurities or on the glass or on the water Perfect. form. And if there are no impurities forming, the water just gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And then when you put a spoon or something into it, suddenly that's the impurity and all the <laughs> seed just... Well, that's exactly clean. what happened to me. Yep. Wow. It you must not have been in Flint, Michigan. Yeah. 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 Luckily, our water is so bad that there's only impurities in our yeah, water. Yeah, we have, we have <laughs> water. Definitely has some. So I put a chapstick yeah. in so my little water. water in your impurity. All right, moving on. Okay, that's question two. This was this is this was the claim, and uh, this is part of a current lawsuit, so it is undetermined because the lawsuit is still pending. Uh, what? Uh, that is ridiculous. They have they have produced the transcripts of the tweets. Officially, oh. Trump. The, uh, Snope said I mean, it has not been decided. Because we have a the case hasn't been definitely. decided. Not the fact that those are the tweets. That is ridiculous. And George. And and we have to recall wow. that it's, it's in a legal deposition, so he mm -hmm. said under oath. That's right. That's, but so it's have, they, but they have not. They have not. That this is what Snope said. Was Snope doesn't want to be undetermined. Snope mm. doesn't want to be sued. Mm. Okay. Does Roger Stone have a tattoo? That was the picture on Snopes, on the claim. And that's the actual picture and the story of the man who took the picture that determined it was in fact true. Yep, we've all seen this. And this one absolutely amazed me. Was there such a TV program? Yeah, there was. Oh. And here is an actual piece of the transcript. I'd never heard of that program. Uh, but it's called Trackdown, apparently, and this is the bit of the transcript. The people were ready to believe, like sheep, they ran to the slaughterhouse, and waiting for them was a high priest of fraud. Mm. Huh, I am the only one. Trust me, I can build a wall around your homes that nothing will penetrate. Yeah. Town person, what do we do? How can we save ourselves? Trump, you ask how you do you build that wall? You ask, and I'm here to tell you. Is that a television from the future? It's television <laughs> in the 1950s. It just time, shows what coincidences travel. are about. Time travel exists. <laughs> it, it was That's where Trump got his yeah. idea from. And this is the end of the story, mm -hmm. right? Um, in, in the reruns, they, they did mm -hmm. this. The rep said that after Hobby tells Walter Trump, he, it's Walter Trump, by the way, is under arrest, the character gets shot by another character and may have been killed. And there's mm -hmm. my reference if you want it. So, so I'm giving you a <laughs> end. PowerPoint. Okay. That the billboard of Missouri show President Trump alongside a gospel quote. Some Christians expressed concern that this billboard equated the 45th president with Jesus Christ himself. And there it is. It's true. And there's yeah. a picture of it. Oh my God. Well, uh, Carl said he already, he's actually saw it. Yep. The word becomes orange. Was a baby born clutching his failed oh, IUD. Uh, this is one where you didn't see the picture. There is the picture with the IUD. Um, they claim that it was miscaptioned, but I'll also take false because it could not have happened. Yay, thank you. The, they, there were babies born and there was an IUD, but there's no way it could have gotten past the sentence in the baby's hand. Mm -hmm. Is there a current proposed legislation in the House to make the AR-15 the national gun? Sorry to tell you that's true. Oh, Jesus. Yep. <laughs> and, and they the have the pins paper. to prove it. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. That's better. I'm oh getting God. deliveries from the kitchen now. <laughs> oh, how nice. Shaken? 
<laughs> I was going to say, I don't think you're getting her back, Zeke. <laughs> okay, number eight, was there bannered in August 2022 CPAC that read, we are all domestic terrorists? That is true, and there's yeah. a picture of it. Yep. Oh that my is God. not photoshopped. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Did Biden fall out of Air Force One as he disembarked in Ukraine? The, the 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 whole thing was was mismarked as a bruise and several of you noted that's the picture that they used that showed his bruise and it wasn't a bruise it was right after ash wednesday i was going to say that's a yeah. yeah wow is that a miscaption mis miscaption that's what we thought and as mono pointed out see here's where we got confused he, he took a train he took a train to ukraine <laughs> So that part was false. So we didn't know if we should say false or. Yeah, well, but he's capable of falling out of a train. So. Should get credit for it because it was also false. <laughs> it was when he landed in Poland, not when he landed in Ukraine. So the answer to that is miscaptioned, is it? Yeah. Well, the their answer was miscaptioned because it was when he landed, it, when it, he landed in Ukraine that they claimed that they saw him fall. I right. thought the answer was Gerald Ford. And it's also yeah. false, right? <laughs> it's false. It's it, it could also be false because it but the original claim was in fact false. Yeah, so, so but this was the answer, the answer from Snopes. Snopes said that he didn't fall when getting off the plane. But you're giving us because he didn't even system. take a, tr a plane. Yes. He got he took a plane to Ukraine. He didn't No, he took the he took the train. He took the, he, a he took plane to, to Poland and then the train to Ukraine. Ukraine. Right. Yeah. The picture itself says fell off the plane in Poland. Right. And what they, they oh. the claim was made that he had fallen. Snopes looked at the claim that he had fallen, <laughs> took the picture that claimed he was fallen. There was somebody tripping if they came off the plane, but it wasn't Biden. They said right. it was a false claim. Then on care. on media they said Snopes is wrong. He has a bruise on his forehead from when he fell. Okay, and that's what I was asking you about. He didn't have a bruise on his forehead. It was miscaptioned because he didn't have a bruise. He had ash from Ash Wednesday. Right, mm -hmm. Gail. Did you say that if we put false that you can that... have it because okay. it's, Thank it's confusing. You. Okay, did tweets some tweets stay peaceful on the day of the Capitol riot? But nope. In other words, here's the whole tweet. It did include those words. However, uh, it was out of context and suggested that the tweet said something that it didn't say. Because although he had all those quotes, he didn't say, and there's the in the little in the little print, there are things that happen when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously snipped away from great patriots who have been badly and unfairly treated for so long. Go home with love and peace, remember this day forever. That is a different tone than the claim, which was that he said to go home and be peaceful. So, it's so they claimed it was a mixture. He actually said those words, but the context was incorrect. So the answer is mis mixture, okay. Okay, yeah, mixture. Yeah, that's their symbol for mixture. Okay, wow, I will. Hard. I will put the lit the list of the answers in the in the chat right now, and I will also put a link to my PowerPoint if you want to read all of the stuff about this thing. Okay, that was very good. That was yeah, confusing good. a little bit, but it was fun. I we've done already yes. done two categories on Snopes in the past, and they're really a fun place to visit. If you guys haven't been to Snopes.com, you want to check it out. You can stop sharing your screen now. Yep, I was going to do that. All right, so we're going to do scores. But before I do scores, I just want to point out that I was talking about the Murdoch trial. You guys are all like, what? Who would look at that? Jeannie Scott is really into it. <laughs> she just sent me a, a, an email. She's like, oh my gosh, they just got out of the, I can't believe how fast they did it. So, you, As they Scott, say doctor, in Italian, tutti gusti son gusti. What they said, actually, though, to each the people own. who watch the Murdoch trial, the majority of them play Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even a mixture. That's a false. Because I know Jeannie Scott is not playing mixture, uh, playing mixture, playing uh, uh, Wordle. But I'm just saying, 
<laughs> Anybody out there holding out thinking? That how how do you know she's thing? not doing that? I bet she plays Cordell. No, she, <laughs> she 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 was following the trial though. Well, she, she could do both. She she's really be. really smart. She could do both. Are you, are you doing an <laughs> argument from authority? Is that what yes, you're doing? Yes, I am doing an argument from authority. Good going, Dan. When I mentioned when I That's mentioned the, the Murdoch trials last week, you guys all gave me that look like, really, Susan? Don't you have something better to do with your life? You all did. And then I Robin, did. I did. Robin says, I'm into it. No. I watched it, though. I didn't say Leo's. that. My wife's been watching it religiously, and I've been watching it. When I come home, she catches me up. and then Yeah, you get caught up on it. And I, we were out eating, and then... They announced the the verdict. She had the, the cell phone on. I know. I was trying not to know it. what the verdict was. I wanted to watch the live feed where they were going to announce the verdict. And I went to go back to watch the live feed where the where they were about to announce it. And then I clicked and there was a link up there that said guilty. Well, Court TV has it. Well, it was just a link that showed up on YouTube and I saw the I saw the headline. I'm like, you know, Zoom oh, created this thing called breakout rooms for people who want to talk about something that's only interesting to them. <laughs> Right, Rob. Like we and I'd like to be able to do about anything. That some... I'd like to be able to do the bonus before Saturday morning. Yeah. So yeah. can we get to hey, Rob, please? Yeah. Pull, all the people here pull the pin out of the world hand grenade, Rob. Susan, can you please send Sagan home to brush teeth and go to bed? <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to. She's go. having so much fun. How does she do that with a mask on? <laughs> She wants to have a sleepover. Well, we we need her though on our team. <laughs> Clearly, you do. I'm going to take off. Good night, guys. Say bye, everybody. Bye, Caroline. Good night. Bye, Caroline. Bye, Caroline. Good, night. Bye, Caroline. Videos, Caroline. Good to see you again. Okay, so let's do our scores. Score, score, scores. I I'm sorry. I better make sure I share the score screen. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, here we go. All right, shoot. He's guilty of murder. And I gave you Deborah, so. Yeah, Seven. thanks. Seven. <laughs> she thinks. Well, we tied us. Uh, well, we're tied. All right. We we're tied for luck. But our team will win. First. Eight. Huh? Not bad. Uh, the jury is in. Also eight. Okay. We have a real balloon alien, which is the team that I was on and Gil was on. Six. You sank your team. <laughs> Ooh, 23, 24, 25. All right. So China knows their love caused COVID. They knew it right off the bat. Seven. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's going to be tough. The next one's 20. fairly close scores. It's pretty good. So, all right. Let's go right Please. into it. We've got uh kevin is here on the screen somewhere the you category go? is wait kevin. wait I, I i have a feeling it's going to be a mystery round oh nope the category is kevin, kevin. A co-host okay there's kevin all right go hey, I'll try to my psychic powers. From ben. You ready got, oh, fun. the kevin is the category i will name <laughs> five fictional characters named kevin you name the tv show or the movie that they're in and then I have a second set of five questions after this first five. Okay, so here's okay. the first five. Okay, we're going to mute. My, my Bob yep. category. We're going to mute in three, two, and one. Is there a TV show named Kevin with a rat in it? The uh, question one, name the TV show or the movie, Kevin Arnold. Number two, Kevin Ball. Number three, Kevin McAllister. Number four, Kevin Malone. Number five, Kevin Raleigh. And then the next five questions are kind of like a, like a bonus round because I couldn't come up with 10. So, there are five Kevins who have stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Name them. And that's it. That's a good but one. If I had 10, I would have used it for a bonus round, but I can only they only have five. Audio rooms. So there Make are there are only five, Kevin? Or there yes, are... the last okay. time I checked. Exactly. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, there are only five Kevins. 
Okay. Okay, Janine, which room are you in, Janine? Four? Three, two. Person. Who's our expert on Kevin's over here? Not me. Kevin Spacey. Ooh, Kevin Spacey. Down the sticks. Kevin Bacon and Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Bacon. Yeah. Kevin. And Costner. Kevin Costner. Yes. So I, I do wonder, is Kevin Spacey's star still there? Uh, <laughs> well. Well, if he was given one, then they would put it back. They'll repair them. <laughs> oh, we're, so we're probably not talking about vandalism. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so probably Spacey. Spacey, Bacon, and who was the other one somebody just said? Costner. Yes, that one. Kevin Costner? Definitely. Oh, for the only ones I've ever heard of, so. Okay, these are fictional. So, first one's Roseanne. Just type Bacon or something. You don't need to Kevin. Um, Costner. Was it Lucille? No. You don't like Spacey? Yep, it's Spacey because we're gonna run. Out, we're not gonna have anything. Was Was there a Kevin? Oh, that was Kevin Cosner. Never mind. Cosner. I got it. I was Good thinking Cosner. of um, number six. Okay. Um, Ooh, this is going to sink the team. <laughs> it's Kevin's own fault. Um, is there one of those shows, Everybody Loves Kevin or something, or Everybody Can't Stand Kevin? Or... That's Raymond. <laughs> There's one that said they couldn't stand somebody. I hate... It wasn't Kevin, was it? Uh, it's not familiar. It was the one, and I think Kevin, and I think Kevin was talking about it. It was a TV show that looked like a sitcom. And then when the wife went into the kitchen, it turned into a black and white drama because she hated her husband so much uh, and she was going to try to kill him. And the show was called, I think it had the F word in it and Kevin, if I'm not mistaken. I watched like three episodes to see what it was. I was like, wow, this is dark. And then he goes in, she goes into the living room and it looks just like all in the family or something, or one of the Cosby shows that everybody's, and there's a laugh track and everything. And, and there's jokes and the neighbors are next door. It looked like just a sitcom, exactly like a sitcom. And her husband's just as horrible. Like, you know, just anyway. And then she goes into the kitchen and then it turns into a dark drama black and white and it was called I hate Kevin I think I hate Kevin <laughs> yeah do you remember which one it no, was fuck, fuck Kevin what do I think fuck what Kevin was it was oh. fuck Kevin. do you remember which Kevin it was what their last name was well, considering we have four we could put it all unless we knew no 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 we have five no I'm talking about no we got Roseanne huh Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. So, I mean, unless I missed... you guys have some other. No, no, I think you're right there. Wait, wait, wait. I think number one is wrong. Our Five was, was characters named Kevin. You name the TV show or movies they are in. Kevin Arnold is not Roseanne. Well, wasn't Roseanne Arnold? Wasn't that her name? Yeah. That wasn't her husband's name? Or her kid's name or something? Evan Arnold? No. No, Roseanne Arnold. I'm thinking the actor. No, these are fictional people. Yeah. And, and the show. Roseanne is her real name, but didn't she play a character whose last name was Arnold? 
you know anything? No, about in the original Roseanne, there was an Arnold. Oh, it yeah, was she's married to Tom Arnold. Mark just said Tom Arnold. Okay. Tom Arnold. That's who I'm fictional? thinking of. What? Yeah. Fictional Kevin's. Fictional Kevin. Okay. Kevin Arnold, Kevin Ball, Kevin McAllister, Kevin Malone, and Kevin Raleigh. I don't know any. I just boy, Kevin them. just made these uh, all are fairly difficult. I think so. Yeah. So, are we, thanks, we Kevin. Kevin's on the <laughs> Walk of Fame, Mark. We've got Kevin, Co Kevin Bacon, Kevin Cosner. Sorry, some of the other That's teams are doing quite well. <laughs> oh, don't tell us that. <laughs> we are not. Mark just named the same ones we have for the, the Walk of Fame. Yeah. Kevin, you sunk your team. Unless Boy. they're all having that problem. Are they all having that problem? No. Apparently not. <laughs> Karen, I bet, is doing kicking ass at this. Is Karen kicking ass at it? She's Kevin. supposed to be here, but she's not back yet. Oh, she's supposed to be on this team? Yeah. But she had she? to go. She, well, she was at the manager's desk and she and her roommate showed back up. And so they had to, she had to leave and then she was going to come back. Figure she would, she would rock at this. She might. Kevin, so fictional Kevin's. I'm telling you, there's this one show and it's called. Well, what was, um what was the, in Home Alone, what was his, last? what was their last name? Oh, um, Kevin McAllister. I I'm, think. I'm thinking that might be it. Home Home Alone. Alone. Yeah. Okay. It's better than blank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. I think of the name um. of the show. I can't think of any other Kevin's. <laughs> what would you do if I sang out of tune? You better not be giving his Stand name. Stand giving anybody walk else. out on me. <laughs> um, wasn't one of them the uh, Princess Bride? Kevin? Really? There, there was a Kevin in that? Oh, yeah, the young kid. There's no kid. Okay. The one who the story is being narrated to. Yeah. Well, that's that's good, but what would his last name be? I don't know if he had a last name. We could put his <laughs> Princess Bride for all the four ones we don't have. <laughs> it might be one he of them. He had a mononym. Uh. Mononym? <laughs> Single name. Yeah, like Prince. Mm. Troy, you seem to know an awful lot of things. Why I know don't you know nothing about music and movies and people and shit. Sorry. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caspian. I. You know everything. No, I apparently I don't know Kevin. <laughs> so I that Kevin is, is an anglicization of an Irish name. That's going to be our. That's going to be the catchphrase. I don't know Kevin. Well, let's turn it to a uh, swear word. Yeah. You know Kevin. Oh, Kevin. An epithet. You know Kevin. You know an Kevin. epithet. If you know Kevin. Oh, Kevin. But we could guess some Irish last names for nine. Like years. Jerry Seinfeld says, Newman. <laughs> One of my friends at work used to say Kevin, just like Newman. But that's not a, that's not a hint I, I, in any I'm way. thinking it right now, Kevin. 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 Uh, Kevin. So we decided it's Malone for the Princess Bride. Yeah, just yeah. just to guess, just. Throwing it out there, just shot in the dark. Raleigh's an unusual last name. Is there any movie that had Raleigh's in it? That's a good way of thinking about it. Any Raleigh's? No. The only thing I think of with Ball is Lucille. 
I know, right? I don't think so, there's any Kevin. I don't think there was any Kevins. No. And Arnold, I just want to think of Roseanne Barr's husband. So yeah. Not that I ever watched the show, but um Yeah, I was I didn't care for them. Okay, let's name fictional TV fictional thing movie. Okay, movies I'm, or movies or TV shows. Do we know of any? <laughs> 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 Jeez. No, I'm fine then. Um, Kevin. Oh, what? Kevin. Kevin Arnold. Oh, wasn't there a frog or a pig or something? Oh no, that was Arnold. <laughs> Arnold Zippel. Was, was there was there was there one in Happy Days? A Kevin in Happy Days? Oh, that's too too far back for me. Oh, you child. Oh. <laughs> I never watched that yeah. stuff. I wish I, I was always watching like Man from Uncle and that kind of stuff. Um, okay. Uh, not in Gilligan's silly. Island. There's no Kevin in Gilligan's Island. There's... What about in Petticoat Junction and, and those things? And the Waltons. Was there a Kevin Walton? No. no. They were all Jim Bob or something. They all had <laughs> Jim Bob, Mary Ellen. Yeah. Uh, they gave them two names because they were so poor. They got two names. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't afford any they real stuff. So they, they were got... really in trouble. You know. They got two of the free things. Yeah. Um. Probably got a middle name in there too. So how about a? Was there Kevin in Little Men? In the where? You know. Well, the last category we had a Little Women one of the categories earlier so is there a little min kevin you know in the book <laughs> he no, better wait, hope not TV show or movie okay never mind <laughs> what tv show were you in little men <laughs> well i think there was one actually <laughs> oh. based on the book <laughs> i tell you if the category was tanks being used in the russian war caspian would have already gotten all 10 and was going on Trying to give us right. a twelve, right, Caspian? What tanks? Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Huh? What about them? If it, the list with the category was name ten Russian or Ukrainian or tanks that are used in the war in Russia, I mean the war in Ukraine, you would have already ten. No, because there haven't been ten tanks used in the war in Ukraine, or about to be used, or or just name <laughs> ten tanks. <laughs> I could. We were talking about tanks earlier today. That's fine. Apparently, Canada is sending two military tanks to Ukraine. Oh. We're sending more than two. More than two? Oh, I thought it was only two. Which ones uh, are they sending them? Leopard 2. two and Leopard Russia two? is not happy about that. Are they good? Are Leopard 2s good? Leopard 2s are excellent. And how many are they sending them? What? How many are going? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. Do we 60, care? 70? Okay, 60 or 70. Okay, we so don't you, have 60 or 70 have tanks. No, no, no. You're sending like eight. Okay. The world is sending 60 or 70. Okay. Oh, okay. Now that we've broken that through that, let's talk about Kevin. <laughs> So we do know something. Just not Kevin. this. Famous Kevins. There's got to be two more famous Kevins. I thought Kevin Arnold was like a cartoon. Was he in, well, it's this TV show. So. There was a cartoon called Arnold. Arnold, yeah. Was Just the Arnold. Kevin Arnold and his last name. Okay, well, maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe it was in, maybe that was okay, his actual Arnold. first name. There you go. Okay, so there we go. Kevin. Face it, Kevin. You're you're the one and only Kevin. We don't, I admit. Have, any, we don't have any other Kevins. But how about how about from was there a Kevin in that um Mayberry show? What? Would you do if I sang out of tune? 
Or just stand up and walk out on me. You sang that before, and I have no idea what that is supposed to be a reference to. So me don't either. give us hints, Kevin, because you're it's Kevin up. Ottle's TV show theme. Never heard of it. I know the song, mm -hmm. but Yeah. Kevin. Oh, well. Remember the kid who was in who was in Princess Bride? He played in a TV show. In that TV show, his name was Kevin Arnold. Oh, jeez. I think. Yeah, I don't know who the kid was in the Princess. Yeah, Bride. I know what I know what the show is. Um. <laughs> You got 66 uh, seconds, 63 um, seconds. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Um, As an adult, he was also in one of the um, the movies. Yes, I know what the show was. But <laughs> yeah, I, I know, everybody knows. Remember it. Yeah, I, re I remember the show. It, it was... Hamilton was hiding. It was a um uh, shoot. If you remember my horror movie uh contest one from a while ago, he was in one of those movies too. Yeah. What would you do if I sang out of Well, I know we got last place, so yes. <laughs> well, now you can't be sure about My that. brother, I did okay. No. We're, we're, we're pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, shit. Number one, The Wonder Years. Kevin Arnold, yeah. The oh, Wonder Years. Yes, oh. The Wonder Years. Number two, this was a tough one. They're over. Kevin Ball from Shameless. Oh, All right. Yeah. Shameless, yeah. Dang it, I have a Number three, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Yay. Oh, at least got that one. Number four, Kevin, Kevin Malone from The Office. Yep. Oh, oh we should have known that. Dang it. And number <laughs> five, this was a tough one. Kevin Raleigh from Meet the Fockers and Little Fockers. He oh, the guy, oh, ex boyfriend. How many times did we talk about that and we didn't oh, put it down? <laughs> Never saw it. I am not been seeing anything with Kevin's in it. Sure. All right. Me no, neither. Wait, just, okay. Just stop the share. Yeah, so I'll post the answers and then the um, the five Kevins are in alphabetical order Kevin Bacon Kevin Costner Kevin Hart Kevin Klein and Kevin Spacey yes. wow. Wow. Kevin hey. Pollock is the only other celebrity that's not on the list <laughs> but he's, he's famous but he's not he's not in the who, who was that last one you just said? Kevin Pollock. He's Medium. been in lots of movies. I oh, thought people might him. guess him, but yeah. he's uh, not. It's also uh, Kevin James. Good. Kevin good. James is yeah. not. He deserves good. Oh, good job. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. She's gone Betty by now. All right. <clears throat> Hey Rob, what you doing? That was hard. Taxes. <laughs> He's wadding up pieces of paper. Wadding up, I know. I had all these notes on it. Check this for him. It. Check that for him. Check this oh, for him. I gotta yeah. do that too. I can't believe I'm gonna do it. What are you doing over there? Mm, this is driving me crazy. You being a good girl? Okay. Here we go. So we've got shoot. He's guilty of murder. 
<laughs> a whole four. Are Ooh. you going to share it, Susan? I love it. Yeah, you're it. it. You can't see it? No. We can. Yeah. We've oh, had this okay. happen before, Gail. You have something covering it. Probably. Okay, we believe with a low confidence that our team will win. Nine. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Wow. Our confidence went up Kevin. a little bit. Yeah, yeah it did. Pull, pulling you ahead. Kevin's. Okay, so wow. the jury is in. Five. We have a real alien, balloon alien. Eight. We have eight. Wow. <gasps> we would have done. Didn't our team have a supposed to have um uh Karen on it, right? She yeah, but she didn't come back. Yeah, otherwise we would have had a ten. No problem. That's right. Okay, China knows at least an eight. COVID. Yeah, they knew it right off the. <laughs> this is a good one. Nine. Oh, yay. Oh, boy. Yeah. We're yeah. still in last place. Woo. Oh, <laughs> love it. I'm moving well, on to and, another team. Another Kevin with a star is Adam Sandler. Yes. Mm. His first name is Kevin. Oh, oh very good. So if you put Adam Sandler, the, and he's, he does have a star in the Walk of Fame? He does. Okay, yeah, but so wouldn't you have to say Kevin on the star? No, no. If you put Adam Sandler, then I guess you get a point. I didn't because know, it would have but... to be Ke Kevin Sandler. Well, his he, name well, really that, is Kevin. That was what he grew up as. He performs as Adam. His side name. I don't know. Professional name. All right. So we have uh, a bonus. And I wanted to complain make sure to and find out if anyone understood. actually answered it. We do yeah. not have a bonus for next week, so we need to have a bonus for next week. I've got. I Rob, can do a bonus if you want, but I just did my category. Uh, I have Rob, Ron. I can, do, I can do a bonus. Okay, Ben has a dumb. I haven't one. done one in a while, and I haven't done a bonus yet. Okay, good. You got it. Okay, but I have the next week still not filled, so that I mean next week's full. After that, it's not. I'm just letting you know. Okay, but I'm not hurrying because I know I will fill it by hook or by crook. All right, so we are going to do, Ron, let me give you your powers. Hold on a second. Just a change in the date. Okay, Ron, where are you? And I have to thank oh, uh, Janine for that idea because last week she did Jean. Uh, mm. Jane. So, well, I okay, would not yeah. like to thank her because we did not do so well this round. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just want to point out. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, and, and then no one said no one said Kevin go fuck himself. That TV show. Yeah. That was <laughs> I'm just upset that we didn't think mm -hmm. of uh, Kevin Klein. I told you guys. Someone may have said that Kevin. They just weren't answering the question. The, it wasn't the one first the category I did was all about Bob's in the answer. So, so next week, you guys, Rob, Ron, Romero, and Kyle have categories, so they may get this idea to do their name. So just, just saying. Now Wait, I did you say I have a category? Thing. Kyle has a category. Okay. <laughs> I heard you say that last time. No, George Santos is no longer allowed to I eat. I could uh, do an entire food, round of World War II war criminals whose names are Carl with a K. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I did it. I've I want Caspian on my team if that's the case. <laughs> I've already done that category. We did I, it. I, I could do on. several rounds of World War II war criminals, Carl's with a K. <laughs> oh, geez. That's okay. Ron. Okay. So I got the bonus here. Uh, the, the theme for this way is uh, rats named Ben through history. Um, <laughs> you're off the team okay so today's uh the theme or er, category is pharmaceutical trivia this is your brain on drugs ads so thanks to a fda rule back in 1997 drug companies pharmaceutical companies are allowed to start doing direct to consumer ads and for any of you who watch television you know that you are constantly getting hit by drug ads oh please let this be listed top late night television <laughs> uh, fun facts. 
So, What's and I, by the way, just for full disclosure, I work for one of those pharmaceutical companies. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do this time is I am going to give you the names of 15 different drugs that are being advertised on television. Not all of them are currently being advertised, but every one of them has been advertised on television over and over again. Then I'm going to give you 15 symptoms that those drugs treat. <laughs> oh, no. And you need to match them. <laughs> drug to, and like I said, these are all ones you'll see. Let's put it this way. The original version of this was I was going to give you the brand name of the drug and then the generic name. Oh, God. Oh, no, whatever. And you would have to match them because they're always on the commercials. But I decided yeah, we, that, that would be We would all got zeros. Yes, yeah. that would be a little bit nuts. So um, I'm going to paste all 15 of the drugs up first. Oh, Jesus. Lexitocin, Carl. So we yeah. have to pick 10, right? Yeah, and you pick 10. Are, are these homeopathic? <laughs> these are homeopathetic. Um, so these are, <laughs> these are 15 different ones that you will, some of these you will see on current commercials if you still watch tv some of them you may not have seen for a while but they are all brand names and here are the corresponding if i can get past the cat <laughs> we have a drug for that <laughs> um, can you get us drugs <laughs> And, oh, okay. asking, asking for a friend and pay special attention to not to yeah. i i like that one bathtub erectile function nice bathtubs? don't forget the jk after the bathtubs he's got is, a jk is, oh, is just it, kidding. It related to whiskey dick i have a question <laughs> okay is, there, is 11 spelled wrong uh Oops, it yes, no. you're right. Yes, it's for stasis. Sorry, oh, we got one. a ringer. Yeah, it's for stasis. <laughs> no, yeah, somebody watches too much television. Damn. How do you spell <laughs> it correctly? Don't give him any more hints. You're on my team. It's, tell us how this to spell This is the big it. comeback. The okay, second Ron, T is I an have S. a question for you. Yeah. How are you going to give us the answers? Do we match the letters? You ma the, match the, the number drug? to the letter. So if, letter. If, if if Sky Rizzi was for deep vein thrombosis, I want to see 1A. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, okay. All right. Time to get rid of you guys. Hang on a moment. Uh, let's oh, see. Oh, fine. I'm trying to get rid of this. Oh, somebody beat me to it. All right. Terry's on the ball today. All right, let's go. Okay. Hypochondriacs have a big advantage in this game. Okay, I, yeah. I know some of these. Who's the hypochondriac in the group? I didn't get Luke. Half of the, um, on just for your information, I watch MSNBC and that's all I advertise are meds. Oh good. I have, I have oh, yeah. uh, I have um I have uh, YouTube TV and uh, not YouTube TV. I pay for that ten dollar premium service because I can't stand ads. So I don't I never look at ads. We have the Hulus with no ads and we still see them. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's MSNBC weird, is terrible. It's a very American thing. Here people think that Americans are weird. It's the only country that advertises drugs. It's against the law. Uh, no, that's not true. There are two countries. New Zealand also allows it. I oh. was for, I forgot I was going to mention that earlier. So Jamie's not it's, in New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand's the only other country that allows you to do full advertising of, of everything about the drug. Really? It's a weird, yeah, weird well, combination. Other countries, it's free. You know, okay. pharmacy's free. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, pretty much. So why medicine... would you want to know what the drug is? Yeah, yeah. Here the medicines cost a tenth, but they are in America, so there's no advertising. So okay, how, so we go get, how right. do I get information? The second part of the the. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, let's get through this. All right, I didn't get that written. I I couldn't write fast enough. Oh, the, here I'll, I'll I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Did, did you get it? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to go number and then letter, right? Yeah. Is anybody going to square, square their screen? Share their screen because it's easier to match them up if you're using <laughs> I could do it if you guys want me to. Okay. Is it easier for me? Can you? Let me no. pull up a Word document and do it on there. So think about that for a second, just for a second. I never get to share my screen and, and do these things. So this will be fun, something different. At least we can go through the ones that we do know. Okay. Well, Amaf so Lewis is, for, is, uh, hey. is L. <laughs> oh, which, which one? Tamiflu is okay. L. Eloquist is for the DVT A. 6A. Yeah. Okay, I'm just making him large enough that you guys will be able to see it. Okay. Eloquist is A. Okay, is that seeable? I thought Eloquist is a. I thought Eloquist is a um, web thinner. It is. Can you guys see my screen? And A is Six. for DVT. And P oh, oh, you're right. You found, yeah, that's it. Yes, a Eloquist is a DVT. Can you guys see yes, my Six. screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So. The so six, six is A. Okay. Yeah, it's a web thinner. 11 is K. It's for dry eye. Yeah. I'll make these larger in a second, Harlan. Ozempic is the A lowers A1C. Yeah, let's go. Hold on. So you got six. Um, oh, I should put these like this. Hold on. Yeah, 2G. I think I'll put them both on the screen so we can see what we've taken off. I think it's how you guys usually do it. Let me put them. Okay. That's good. Okay, let me make these a little smaller. I never get to do this, so I'm just really thrilled. I'm not as practiced as you guys all are. Mm, 16. I think Sky Rizzi is for plaque psoriasis. Oh, I've heard of that. C, 1C. Okay, so we've got, that one's gone. What do we have the oh, no. LDL? No, hold on. So one, but we want to put number one to C. Yes, plaque psoriasis. What? Number one. Yes. Is C. Yeah. C. Okay. Okay. C. Alice is the bathtub. Yeah. Yeah. Why does he call it a bathtub? Because that was the ad. Yeah, the erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I really am not Nothing. by himself. Nipitor. No, that was that was one of the early early uh, ads. And um, you had restasis is for dry eye. Number eleven. Eleven yeah. is K. Lipitor, would that be depression? I think so. Lip, I thought I thought Lipitor was for um, cholesterol. Cholesterol. Oh it yeah, it is. It is. It is. So Lipitor is a cholesterol. Is that, so, is that? Lower the LDL. So Lipitor is B. Oh, 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 okay. Lipitor B. Okay. Is B. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, Camerity is another name for the Pfizer vaccine. Oh, 13 yeah. is a five is an N, the COVID vaccine. Is for which one? Camerity. It's a stupid name, isn't it? We're Camerity. Number 13. 13. 13. COVID. So oh, it'd be one? COVID. Oh, I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah, Shantix. my Shantix no. 5 is for uh, smoking. Oh, yeah, right. Chances of smoking. They have that? I don't um, see a smoking one. D. Five D. Is Rexalti a cancer treatment? Rexalti. 
Oh God, I, you know, I've heard these. Fiber, no, 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 no. I must have it over here, I must didn't copy. Yeah, D, so five is D, as in dog. Yeah, Chantix yeah. is D, smoking. Um, Tamiflu, okay. Tamiflu is it's for the flu. Blue. We need one more. Lyrica, my wife took that for um, neuropathy. Let's see, let me ask her. Rexalti, uh, Rexalti. H, no. That's, that's one for H depression. HPV? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, Lyrica is for um, the neuropathy. So I wonder. Um, What if I were my elder? Let me ask my wife. She took it once. My elder is, is pain, so. Yes. Okay. It's like, oh, Heart that's is what, that sounds familiar. 3M. <clears throat> M? 3M is another. Okay. Depression. Yes. Three. Redubix. <laughs> Lyrica. Okay, I've heard that. Wait, did you say three? Three M's. Okay, like I've got it right now. I'm. Um, Renew Rex Rex you. Rex Salty. Is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah Rex Salty. Yeah. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, oh my four, God. five, six. Seven, I've heard of Lyrica nine. and I've heard of Keytruda, but hell, I don't remember what they are. Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten. Which one am I missing? Okay, I've got one C. Uh-huh. Two G. Oh. Ah. Laurel Laura's A1C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. B, 3M, as in mom, 5D. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yep. four, 4 is H, by the way. H? Five yeah, four. Well, we Lyrica, you still have my yeah. um, Well, that's okay. It's better to be safe than sorry. Well, we're not allowed to have 11 or anything like that. If we do, then we're... We're, we we're cheating? Yeah, go on to okay. So, but is there one here that we're questionable? Or do we think we have more? Close the door. Um, what's roofing? Never heard of it. The Lyrica is fibromyalgia, right? Yeah. So that's N is, or wait, is that H? The four is H. Yeah, but if I put it, then we'll have to take one of the others off. I never heard of the other one. I'm sure about that Ozempic. Ozempic? Ozempic is A1C. In, yeah, fact, it, in fact, people are using <clears throat> it to uh, lose weight, and now they have a shortage of. Yeah, that's, she's right. She's right. Oh, no, you're right. And that just came out the, within the last couple of days that this is. I thought with the C. No. What? It's for diabetes, for lowering your uh, blood sugar, but they use Oz it for uh, weight. Yeah, the Ozempic. Okay. I think we'll do well. We're hypochondriacs. <laughs> so we'll do, very, we'll do very well in this game. Okay, we got um, one, two, three, four. Five, okay, so we have to five, eliminate five, one. Three, no, we've got 10. Oh, okay. I didn't put four because we already oh. had, we had 10 already. Yeah, okay, four so is eight. Eight. Cross off four then? I could, or I could take it out. No. I could leave it in. Well, let's cross off four. Okay, let me find the Who sees this besides us? Nobody. So. Yeah. 
So what is that's number one? What is the answer to number one? C. Because we have two answers there. We have C and D. Black psoriasis. Guy Rizzi. Oh, there's this. Oh, you're right. I do. I was wondering where that D went. The it smoking was the, um, yeah. yeah. Chant there. Chantis, whatever. That was smoking. So are we crossing off four then? Is that? Yeah, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have five. So we have Chantis as smoking. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. Okay. Chantix. I had an employee who took Chantis and um, he went became violent at work. Oh, and that's a smoking thing? Yeah, he overdosed on, on that Chantis, became extremely violent at work. He was actually arrested and put into prison. But <gasps> then he got off because it was caused as a side effect of taking that anti-smoking medication. Oh my God, what does it do to you? It makes you violent. None of that, none of that stuff is good for you. No. <laughs> Or do you mean actually a constant purring? Just, just, you know, just wanders around the house and starts doing this really high pitched squeaking sound. Okay, so that's not equivalent to a meow. That's that's instead yeah. of a meow. Then yeah, instead of, of my, a meow, one of my cats does that too. If that was the uh, only okay. cat I've ever heard, and they said come up with a, a verbal description, I would not come up with meow. I would go squeak. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Exactly. Th okay, this cat, however, does. You guys, we just yeah. walked in on. Rob, did they did, it cats. did it yeah. swallow a squeaky toy? <laughs> so we have no. squeaky cats. I call my cat squeaker all the time because she goes, Ew. yeah, see, I think a lot of cats do that. I actually have one outside cat. This it's a male cat, and he his meow is so high pitched. It's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> Castrato. Phoebe yeah. has a sweet walk, sweet he meow. Is. <laughs> Ursula has a whine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, we got everyone back. I, I like when they go like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and one thing I mentioned to a couple of the groups here, um, there are only two countries in the world currently that allow direct to consumer full on ads like we have in this country. The other country is New Zealand. Oh, weird. Huh. Yeah, the only two countries in the world. Everyone else has it extremely restricted or just not at all. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Like scars are they have to uh, yeah, yeah. say what they don't treat. There's some disclaimers. Okay. Do you want me to just put them all up or one at a time? I can't remember. I'm not sure how we Whatever do this. Whatever makes sense. Well, just throw them all up there. Okay. We're gonna have to match them up. All right. Yeah. So I think we did good. My team. Yeah. Okay. Fast. So here they are. They Hopefully drugs. they will all show up at once. Nope, they're not very lined up, but anyway, so Sky Rizzi is for plaque psoriasis. Um, there's an incredible number of them out there that are currently doing it for variations on eczema, plaque psoriasis, all that kind of stuff. Originally, I had a whole bunch of really great ones and then realized they're all doing the same thing, so I had to narrow it down. Uh, Ozempic is for diabetes, which I will accept, but that's lower, you know, it's the lower as A1C is, is a diabetes um, marker. Rigsalti is for depression. And you watch the commercials, you are depressed by the end of them. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And, and that, I forgot to get to the letters. So that's 1C, 2G, 3M. Uh, Lyrica is for fibromyalgia. So that's H. Chantix is for is D for smoking. Eliquis is A, deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolisms. Cialis uh, is for erectile dysfunction. That's I, if any of you have seen the commercials, they all seem to take place with couples sitting in bathtubs. Um, <laughs> why, I, I never, I I never understood that, but that was part of their- Bathtubs in the sunset. They're out in the sunset, yes. In the sunset, yes. In the no, sunset. They're, all, they're, all, they're all at the, they're all at the post ranch. Bathtubs. Um, and then Keytruda is my company's drug. It's our number one drug. Um, it's for cancer treatment. Never heard of it. Um, it I've seen it ads for it recently. Yeah, it is yeah. our it is our multi billion dollar uh, com, uh, drug right now. What's the company? 
and then you're on Merck. Merck, oh, okay. Uh, nine is Gardasil, which is also our company. That is for HPV. Jay. Uh, Lipitor uh, is for treating uh, LDL, uh, which is the uh, it essentially is for uh, cholesterol. That's B. Restasis is for dry eye. That's K. And thank you for correcting my spelling. Uh, Rufin was an interesting one. Uh, it is the very first prescription drug that was advertised in the U.S. It was actually uh, advertised before they had rules that prevented it. And then they went back and had to change the rules in order to allow it to be uh, um, shown. But it's for pain relief. Hmm. So okay. it is a, essentially it's a roofie. Um, it is a roofie. Oh, okay. Corbinati uh, is N as a COVID vaccine. Uh, 14 uh, is Tamiflu, which is for flu. <laughs> duh. I assume everyone got that one. And eventity is for osteoporosis. Porosis. Oh. So there are your, there are your drugs for the day. Cool. <laughs> Take your medicine. Good, good round, Ron. Take your medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and I and as I told uh, uh, George Santos here, I almost put Benadryl on there just because I had to have it at that Ben, but I decided not to. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, can I I say that Lyrica is used for depression? Is that? an acceptable answer i think that's acceptable because there are some of these drugs that were primarily used for fibromyalgia that actually have been found to be good for depression i will give you that one thank you but i thought it was if you were writing a song and you couldn't think of words <laughs> uh, so this can be very depressing that's lyric nah uh, lyric nah, uh, lyric nah. Uh, <laughs> I, w I wasn't looking at the screen did vincent say that <laughs> <laughs> no. got a reputation here now no i do i love it he, he can have credit for it if he wants I'll give oh him thank you yeah so let's find out if the curse of susan was able to kill my team that was in the lead i was amazing i just did a screen share i've never done this before it's harder than you think to keep up the lines and numbers and stuff like that I'm, I'm i learned a new skill today it is hard to do and i'm trying to put it on the scoreboard and it's really kind of vincent's weird. a pro at it yeah vincent's good i i was using word maybe i shouldn't use word no i always tell people don't yeah he's, he's just uh no, no i use i use notepad plus plus it works yes. well same here yep yeah i've never done it before that was my first attempt. it's free <laughs> okay 24 shoot He's gilded murder. Murder. Ten. How many? Finally got a 10. Ooh. Murder. Murder. Uh -oh. All right, the jury is in. <laughs> Nine. 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 We believe with low confidence that our team will win. 10. Yeah, you know your drugs. All right, we have a real balloon alien. 10. Oh. All right. China knows our lab caused COVID. You knew it right off the bat. 10. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is easier. I should have gone with the other choice of having the generic names. Oh. oh, we'd have got zeros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won oh. the golf school. Well, that, that was because of your, your awful joke about Lyrica. Wouldn't have changed the outcome. <laughs> it, way. We were playing golf. Uh, that's winners. a good thing. Good thing we had low confidence. Well, Sagan yeah. got the wrong team. She picked this one. She we believe did. in low confidence that our team will win. And uh, we said it was low confidence. Yeah. There you go. Almost, though. Gosh darn it. Not so horrible, but you know, you're getting there. All right. Well, oh well. I, I'll I'll let you guys yeah. go home a little early so you can all watch the trial. Or my oh yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. Over and pay watch attention to those videos. commercials. <laughs> or watch Picard. Watch my four videos. Good night, everybody. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everyone. Bye. Take care. Good night.